done. All the social media set up and software testing is complete. Electronic payment systems ready. It's all working, Julian. We're a go, buddy. Fucking way, buds. You know what? You are the fucking man, buddy. Oh, I know I'm the fucking man. I mean, I honestly don't think there's a snowball's chance of fucking hell this business is going to work, but I did my best. Here we go. It's true. I, I was thinking about doing like a Chinese one, but I didn't want to get canceled for it. Uh, ching chong, <laughs> ding dong! <laughs> Welcome to the stream, That's everybody. It. This is another Yakov stream with the Skinwalker gang talking about absolute nonsense. Good night, cuts! 
That's the new bit, right? <laughs> no, that, that's, that's, a, that's, that's what we're going with. Australian. That's, the, Australian. that's the Austrian <laughs> individual. The Austrian Wait, individual. Did you bamboozle me? We didn't actually start. I we are we started. started. We're starting. This is a rumble, dude. We're going, bamboo, dude. I'm assuming heck? we're going. It's it's live. It's happening. Oh. All right, gang stalked again. Mm, got him, folks. We got him, folks. We're back again to talk about more spooky things, talk about suffering and misery and our miserable, terrible suffering lives here with the cunts. Uh, I got Flame Upon Herb with me, Brother Flame. What's up, dude? Greetings. Greetings, friends. Polak is here. What's up? Brother Alb is here. Hey, cunts. We got my dog walking around the back. Sits so Max being loud, dude. Fucking dog. Got them toenails sticking. Yeah, I can't do nothing about that, dude. He will rip your face off if you try to cut his nails. He will kill <laughs> you. Do you understand? Mine will too. Yeah, mine fucking hate the toenail yeah. clippers. We can we can get it done once in a while, but it's a waste of time because a week later it's the fucking fantastic tap dancing dog all over again, dude. <laughs> oh, it's miserable, right, boy? Yeah. Why the shit. dog dance? <laughs> because we're live. I didn't even check Kiwi. I don't even know about any updates. I heard Chris Chan's still out and about. Still boring. Can't even do anything fun like that. We do have a little bit of Chris Chan content. Alb has a project he's working on that he wants to bring to yes. us. That we may enjoy. Um, The chart of suffering. In fact, I need your help, guys. Because I can't figure this out. <laughs> that is why I have come here to the experts. Right, watch stream. This is what I have to do. So here, so here. Uh, can you see? I see. Yeah, I see it. We it's see it. Stream. Everybody sees it. It's out to everyone. Yes. Yeah. Here we have some familiar characters that you're all aware of. But what we must know now, do now, our task is not going to be easy. We must rank them in terms of how much they suffered this that axis happened. up to 100 and how much they deserved it. Okay, so, so we got, yeah, we got suffering on the left, and we got how they deserved it on the bottom. And you really deserve it, you would end up here. All right, I like this. I'm curious how this will end up, yeah. So now, should we just start them? Yeah, let's do it. Let's see who yeah. suffered, how much they deserved it. So, who do you want to start with? Uh, Alex, uh, Jones. Someone hit Alex Jones. Alex Jones, that's a good yeah. one. Alex, Alex Jones, Jones is this. definitely a good one to yeah. start with. Yeah. So Alex Jones suffered Alex greatly. Jones. He certainly got suffered. He was he was canceled into oblivion. But not only not just the cancellation, the cancellation that made him in debt one billion dollars to Somali yogurt refugees or something like that. I'm not the sure. Somali yogurt refugees. I'm not sure. Yeah. But the point because the money's fake. No one's getting the money. It doesn't matter. Yes, it was ridiculous. They're going to tell him next time. They're going to tell him he owes them eleventy billion dollars. All right, so. Now, also, I think it must have been a form of suffering to talk about the subjects he talked about and all, <laughs> all, all the time. Flames so are over choking oh, on oh. a cock. <laughs> must, must have taken a toll of being like... <laughs> you, will be <laughs> you will be torn limb from limb! Can't be healthy doing that every day. Okay, where were we? So, oh, so yeah, he probably oh, suffered yeah. a lot. He suffered a lot. Yeah, now, but I think, I think but, there, but we have to consider. We have to consider if he we deserved it. He's definitely a guy who asked for it, right? It, like, it if anyone's him. asking to be fucked over by the elite, like it's Alex Jones, right? That that was his <laughs> job. Yeah. My question would be, how genuine is he? Is he? I like I got actor. Is he being paid off by someone? Is he a I got, or is he trying his best? I think I got, he definitely started out started out legitimate, but the thing is, if if he that? is co opted now, that is part of his suffering. Well, I mean, we gotta ask this like question um, about he, did, did Sandy Hook actually happen? That's another big one, yeah. So, like, if Sandy Obviously Hook not. did... All right. Jim Fetzer, Fetzer, if, if recent okay. events in Israel tell me anything, that it's that no children died at any point. Yeah. So, like, if you believe that, then no, he doesn't deserve this. I, guess he I don't think it truth. comes down to that. I don't think it comes down... Because he literally passed the threshold <laughs> of where he was the, the clear and most obvious big target. Yeah. So what is so deserve? What is what does it mean yeah. to deserve something? If you like beg to come of, destroy yeah. for the new world order to come destroy your life, did you deserve it simply on that? 
He was kind of irresponsible, I guess. Yeah, that's how you would say. That it. doesn't mean that he necessarily deserved. All right. So I would say like maybe uh, thirty to thirty-five on deserving. On the it. deserving section, I kind of like that. Like one third up sounds about right to me. Yeah, thirty-five. And yeah. also, he did not suffer all that much. Uh, like, I'm not sure how he's, he's living he's, now. He's, I'm, he's I'm assuming he's like living a, like a millionaire right now. Uh, probably. If he's living like a millionaire right now, he's good. Let's say he, he deserved it in third term. So his... And, I think his suffering is like a... I, I would probably put it like... I'm thinking in thirds here. I like thinking in thirds. Like a 33 to how much they des how he deserved it. Like a 66 to his suffering. Also, he is yeah. a living, yeah, walking, walking meme legend. That is part of deserving it. Because in, yeah. a, in his own way, he's a low cow. And do low cows not deserve it? Yeah, so yeah, that's like it's up for debate. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. 65. There we have it, folks. Alex Jones deserved 30% of his suffering. And he suffered well, to a degree of It sounds 65. like he deserved 50% of his suffering. Is that how this works? Uh, we put him 40. in 30. Like Should we put him I like it. I, I think he's perfect. I'm just curious how all of the perfect, specifics yeah. work out. Oh yeah, okay. I don't know. I haven't thought about it any longer than this. Should we do like <laughs> a score of sixty? Who at the top? I think I think Alex Jones is perfect. I think we've got a, a decent it. benchmark yeah. here, and we might adjust yeah. it if something happens and we have to adjust it. Then so be it. Yeah. We can, uh, yeah. Take a look at him. <clears throat> I put him. There he is. He's at a sixty-five there and a thirty. Is. I'd put it like thirty-three and sixty-six. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, that works. It looks yeah. like he's suffering though. <laughs> uh, well that's the thing about him is like i believe he's living like a millionaire and he's like generally okay but i also believe he's fucking suffering like just because you have a million dollars or whatever does not mean you ain't don't suffering he, i'm sure he is yeah. i don't pity him but i don't envy him either. he could he could <laughs> suffer more is i guess what i'm getting at here yeah. we could make him suffer more yeah but the story is not over he could have found... at any point. Yeah. all right alex alex jones done next uh, Ram. let's do Frodo. Frodo, that's good. Yeah, yeah Frodo, yeah, Frodo. Are you, we'll all Frodo. of you guys big yep. Tolkien fans? I, I don't know how big I am, but I'm a, I'm a fan. Moderately, yeah. Have you read the Silmarillion? No. <laughs> I've read parts I, of it. I have. I, I, I've only Lord read The Hobbit. Read I love The Hobbit. I have no desire to read the Lord of the Rings trilogy in my adulthood. Oh, it's, it's bad. Yeah. I believe it's good. Listen to the audiobook yeah, by Andy Serkis. So, Recommendation to all fans who are slightly interested in Lord of the Rings. The guy who does the voice for Gollum in the movies. It sounds great. Read that. I love just my audiobook. He should do the fish song. When Gollum finally shows up, then it's That's exactly the like... So, yeah. Frodo... But Frodo. He, Frodo did not deserve it, really, right? Well, give yeah. someone, like, give me a cell on what he deserved. He pretty much... Did not deserve it at all, didn't he? I'm trying to think of any reason. the The only reason I could think that I could say he deserved it is because he was willing to take on the task himself. That is that is like yeah. almost nothing. I get five points. Five points. That's it. Yeah. I'd say a five on the on the asking yeah. for it. Does that make it no. you, I'm just worried that Frodo is going to be competing with Jesus here, and that's going to make I me mean, feel he, weird. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I'd say five. <laughs> yeah, five. He, he did some. He did some gay That's... shit with Sam on that boat, That's but other than that, <laughs> yeah, yeah. five, yeah, I'd say five. I'm thinking, yeah, five and or ten sounds about also, right. He, he also 10, yeah. remember it in the end, he could not destroy the ring. He had to. He actually yeah. claimed it for himself and put it on. But he but, did his. He he did the entire ta task before that, yes, and everything no turned one, out good. He yeah. suffered. He got the suffering, so it wasn't even deserving no one, at that no point. One, uh, no one yeah. could have done a better job. But that is correct. Yeah. But suffering should be quite high, then I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I'd say I'd say like seventy. And also, 70, 70, uh, 70. in the end, he had to leave Middle Earth because he was mortally wounded. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. And I think the yeah, fact that he got yeah. to go spend his days in the Grey Havens or whatever, 
I think that, honestly, that bumps his suffering down a little bit because he did get justly rewarded for all of that. It's not like he's wallowing now. It gets that That's reward. Like it was a bittersweet yeah. reward. Like. It was, but it, at the end of the day, it was still a reward. <laughs> Didn't have to give him that. I'd say 70. Uh, yeah, 70, 70, 75. 70 sounds about this right. Is now it, it's starting to get interesting. Yep. Frodo suffered more than Alex Jones, but yeah. not that yeah. much more. No. Yeah. <laughs> this is fiction. I mean, Frodo, <laughs> you got to have a level of suffering. Frodo right. suffered more physical and, anguish, but uh, Alex Jones is suffering more mental anguish. Also, I as as emotionally attached to Hobbits as I am, I'm more emotionally attached to Alex Jones, so I'll admit that freely. Yeah. 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 These are our heroes here. <laughs> These are our heroes. Heroes, we right. show. All right. Next, who do we have? Who do you want to move? Uh, let's let's do Sad Pepe. I don't know. I mean, get Sad Pepe out of the way and let's get that boy. I mean, yeah. he he obviously yeah. suffered a lot. I think well, he his sad. I think his suffering was ultimately minimal. I think he deserved his suffering greatly. Um, and I'll say that because. <laughs> Pepe's origins were some, like, goofball Reddit-tier comic artist who, like, hated everything about what Pepe became. So, yes. I think it, he very much deserved it. You make a stupid fucking character, you don't be surprised when people use your stupid fucking character to do whatever they want. Like, get wrecked, dude. Okay. Highly deserved it. <laughs> I, um, I mean... Yeah, so, and I, I think... Here somewhere, like... Yeah, I think no, I'm 80 on the true. deserved it, a uh, 10 on the suffering. Yeah, I think it's like a 70 to 80 on on the deserved it scale. And then as far as the suffering, I don't think he suffered that much, honestly. Like I, I mean, ten. that's like 10. He ten. is the sad Pepe. He was created to be sad. He yeah, he's sad. So 10. He did suffering. So your your chat. So all of the suffering of the people who have posted him are channeled like into him, giving him the suffering energy. He's a yeah. representation of that. That's just one thing that Pepe is. Pepe is many things. All right. Well, I'd give him, like, a, he can have, like, a, I don't know, what do we say? I want to be generous and be like, he can have 40. Wait, so now he deserved it to 75. Yeah, that's and cool. He deserved it to 75. Was, and he suffered. Eight. Uh, I'd he say... the four sham posts. I don't think he suffered 80. Up. I don't think you can put him at 80 at all, dude. I think, he I think didn't suffer like nearly as much as Alex 40. Jones, let alone Frodo. This yeah, face he's mom he's found a poop sock. Yeah. Isn't that suffering <laughs> enough? No, not to be mom at 80. Not at all. And it, like, here's the thing. You don't got to put it at 40. We can find a compromise here. If you want him at 80, we can put him at fucking 50, no. 60 maybe. But that 80 is too goddamn high. Yeah. Yeah. 60, Pepe, you're going down. <laughs> Hard, yeah. I can't quite see where, where I have him. See, this is try why I try to maintain co-host. The dog is begging to go outside. 50. Yeah, I can like talk about something while uh, you gotta let the dog out. In intermission. <laughs> Dude, intermission already. We got a okay. chicken break. Chicken break. All right, all right, chicken break, chicken break. Say whatever stupid chicken shit. Break. I'll make fun of Polak. Mm. You know, he's talking right. about chicken. If he's talking about we chickens, are. he deserved so. it, so he will suffer, right? So. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. I'll be right back. Right, Polak. Here's what's here's what's gonna happen now. You listen to me, good. We are gonna have a civilized discussion, or. A jokeful discussion, and we are not going to mention guns or machines. What about chickens? No, no. So, so, like, who, who are these? Who's next on this? Who's next on the uh, list? Yeah, who do you want to take? Think Should we start before? We have the Baja. Ethan, Ethan Ralph, the bog hog, the man, the legend himself. The king of the I like the that we have big foot also. The Sultan. How could he possibly suffer? Swamp. We don't really know him personally that well. No. Alright. A caveman. Did a caveman suffer? Uh yeah. I mean yeah, because he got like molested by like mammoths and stuff. Ah uh, yeah. Jim Jones. Caveman. You see, you go, you're a caveman, and you don't have like access to a pastoralist lifestyle. You got to like need that. He has a club. He's a big. Yeah, club. but see, he's gonna like kill several like animals. Also, That's great. It's a good he skill. Does, he doesn't know what he's missing. 
So who, who, the problem is, the problem we, we, is, we should do Chris Chan, Barb, and, and Bob Chandler all in succession. Yeah, we so should. Like, yeah, so we're going to do that. Family. Yeah. Bob so we're, so like, let's, Isn't this a I, wonderful picture of Bob also? <clears throat> do you like, want... a lot like Chris now. Yeah. John, do, you, do you want to like save those three for last? Yeah, we can save those three for last. Depends on how okay. much time we're gonna spend on this. Oh, this is good. All right, fun. yeah, let, let, let's let's get through all we these. We have only done three. We can add more to it. Too. We we could have talked way more about it. We we're just like, all right, here. we can add more people to this too. There's plenty of historical figures from like way long ago we could talk about. All right, let's choose sure. one. Not let's we could add more. Can you put Napoleon, Frodo, Napoleon in it? Napoleon in it. We could move Frodo, maybe one more. He, he's not like morally perfect. No, I'd say, yeah, give him like a 10. Give him a 10 instead of a 5. Like he did something wrong. He's on 5. He was yeah, a rich man. He lived in a big ass house. Well, I was going to say it's he's kind of like, yeah, and then the gay boat thing with Sam. I mean, oh, Jack's here. We're hey, streaming, what's up? We're streaming. Oh, you're on? Yeah, we're on. We're waiting on Yak to get back. Hey, yeah, quickly yeah. explain and bring him up to speed. Bring him up to speed. Uh, Are you uh, watching the stream? Yeah, you're watching the stream about uh, we're we're doing the suffering versus deserved it part. <clears throat> or you could just explain my project. And we were picking. Oh, up. We should have had just a rifle. <laughs> then Jack can say how much a rifle suffers. They do suck. Okay. Oh, like, oh, like, no, All right, who's next? No, All but right, yeah. let's go. Listen, here, we must uh, rate these characters <laughs> in terms of suffering. And this axis is how much they suffered, and this is how much they deserved their suffering. <laughs> so, so far, we have come up with <laughs> Alex Jones suffered quite a lot, but did not deserve it that much. Rhoda suffered a bit more, but deserved it less. Sad Pepe. He deserved it a lot more, but suffered a bit less. I mean, he's not trying to improve his situation, Pepe, is he? He's just sitting there. Well, sometimes you're in that state, and it's called like the Chinese have a term for it called like letting it rot. And it's when you, you don't want to get up out of bed, you just kind of want to like lay in bed and like smoke shitty gas station weed and drink malt liquor all day. You can't stay there forever, Pepe. You must rise. He must go get a job, yes. So. Choose. Who do you want to do next? Though? Should we do the whole? Uh, who, who's the Who, who's, who's, who's Link Cola? A Finnish autistic oh. philosopher who lived in the forest. Yeah, was he like an environmentalist guy? I remember reading about him. I'll give a. Uh, I'll give his best quote. So you so you can get him. He He's said Finnish, this. And it's weird because he vaguely looks like my Polish grandfather. I'm <laughs> quoting him now. If there was a button that I could press that meant millions of people would die, I would press it without hesitating, even if it meant that I too would perish. What did I miss? Oh, we're uh, catching we Jack up on the project. And I explained Jack to Jack who Link I was. Oh, cool. Yeah, Jack Jack's here. here. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, dude. We chilling. We chilling. All right, so uh, Sorry, where, where are we? <laughs> what are we doing here? Oh, let's, right. do, uh, let's do Big Lenny. Big Lenny. Let, let's save all the locales for last. I, I mean, I'm going to do all the other ones. We're doing a mix here. I I mean, we're going to do them eventually. Let's do Lenny then. We all know Elliot, Elliot Rogers suffered the most, of course. <laughs> Elliot Rogers. You girls. You girls. Big Lenny. Big Lenny, I'm gonna say. What, I mean, what has happened to Big? How Lenny much did he, he really actually suffer, suffer yeah. so far? Okay. I, All right. So, so Big Lenny, Big Lenny, 
he had a very promising I don't know. He was a very promising guy at one point in his life. He was like a football star and obviously into the bodybuilding and all of that. It seems like somewhere along the way, as a young man, he went astray and he went to the we went the path of like booze and steroids. And then at that point, he was still competing. Like he was competing in um, bodybuilding shows, all whatever they do. Um, but the thing is, he had a giant gut, no matter what, because he had a yeah. giant fucking monkey roid belly. So he was yeah. a freak show. <laughs> it never stopped him from competing, which was always admirable, but it did always ner- – he always came in last every fucking time. HGH. He would take HGH too. Gonna go- and it was the hardest fucking musliest belly. roid belly in history, but it was a big old gut. But, that, but that's what HGH does. I know. Like, dude, he, he, he mixed this shit with alcohol. That's what's I can going actually- on. Do this. Yes, there yeah, you go. There we go. So oh, his, his oh. probably his intestines and his it's liver back. and everything are just like massive at this point. You can yeah. see his fucking liver. Look, that like bulge up there by like under his right like titty. That's like his fucking liver and it's all like pulpating out. Holy shit. That's disgusting. disgusting. It's like a super mutant from fucking Fallout. Now he was never a guy <laughs> he, he is the proud of himself at the, i mean at the he end of the day green. Green. He looked like a super mutant. Make i think we're green. looking at a guy who who very much deserved suffering he went out of his way to live the dirtiest <laughs> most disgusting life possible he deserved a lot of suffering i think at the end of the day what he got was pretty mild suffering and his house was also so fucking filthy and had yeah, some yeah, porn yeah, addiction and all of that stuff. 80% deserved it. 80 and, deserved it. And talking about the house, I don't think the house is him suffering. I think the house is him deserving to suffer. Lenny took a shit in a bath full of shit. That's uh, <laughs> painful to think about. Yes, that's deserving it. He deserved it. Yeah. Was that a oh, yeah. statement from his part? Yeah. There, uh, you remember that video with that uh, tranny pissing on his face in his ba- in his bedroom? <laughs> Vaguely. <laughs> Couple yeah, of I remember that video. Two. Okay, so oh I'll be honest. I think I think Lenny, he like his deserve it level is like through the roof, like a ninety. Absolutely, this man did nothing whatsoever to improve his situation. But his suffering level can't be much more than a 30, right? It's like normal like human suffering. Yeah, yes. And that's bad enough, though. But It sucks. It truly sucks. But, yeah. like, it's not Alex Jones suffering. It's not Frodo suffering. Yeah, Alex had it worse. Yeah. Yeah, yeah Frodo got worse. I, yeah. I, I, 25, 30 is kind of where I think. Like, I'm sure he's yeah, suffered plenty. 25. 25 is a fair score. This is he so did, hard. He did, he did, the he pictures are so small. And he did turn himself black for your sins. He turned himself black. <laughs> oh, that might be the start of a new religion. Yeah, I mean, he did like... 25, 25 you are all forgiven. And, yeah, well, forgiven everybody, everybody knows that as soon as you're black, you deserve it. Is that <laughs> how America works, I think? <laughs> yeah, 25, 85. That sounds good. 85, 30. 8530, yeah. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm happy with that. Yeah, yeah. That we can agree. Big Lenny, you just sit there and smile. <laughs> he's a very sexy yeah, man. He's a, I mean, piece he, of he man. does not look to be suffering, actually. No, that's, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's a man who should be suffering. Like, look at that motherfucker. That dude should be... Dude. I don't even, he's got, like... That's a question, actually. Why aren't you suffering? Yeah, it's pissing me off. No, he, 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 has, he has relished in the suffering. He has become one with the suffering. Then this is a, like a a man, How you he, about this? He, this is the optimal male physique of a man who suffers, dude. Super mutant? A fallout super mutant? <laughs> dude, dude, His face when suffering like, is all I can say. I don't know. Looks like he, he free bases FEV. FEV. <laughs> Big Lenny fetish is spreading. Everyone loves Big Lenny, dude. I'll I'll say he deserves it, but in the same breath, I'm saying like he's a big old teddy bear. (laughs) Big old teddy bear. (laughs) Big old gut bear. Ooh, what's next here? Uh, Leave him. Leave him up. Leave him up. Don't fuck that up. That's what that one's good. He can be there. Yeah, he can be there. 
Black yeah, Singer. We her, love him. That's her decoration. The big empty space, put Lenny in it. Who should we do hmm. next? Zuckerberg? Or... We do Zuckerberg. Supreme Gentleman. Zuckerberg. Yeah, do Zuckerberg's Zuckerberg. a weird Zuckerberg. one. Here's a guy who his... The most suffering he has endured is like people on the internet calling him a bug man. Or a robot. Also, I'm not sure that he can even comprehend human emotions. Exactly. He's capable That's true. Of can, does anybody have any instances of, of Zuckerberg suffering? He knows all of our He had to go to court one time. Knowing all of all of our all our secrets might sound like suffering, but it's really deserving it. The pain of of knowledge, man. But he deserved it most importantly. Yeah. Then we have another. Yeah, he asked. He begged for that. I think here we have a guy who really deserved to suffer, but did not 90, suffer a lot. Yeah, ninety, ninety, ninety-five. He, he's at least he's at least a level or two past Big Letty on deserving it scale. Yeah, yeah. ninety-five. I'd say ninety-five. This guy invented Facebook. I think. Yeah, ninety-five. It is possible to deserve suffering more, but not much more. I mean, they had to make up shit in that movie to try to make it seem like he had like a sad story. Yeah. So, like, and here's the thing, nah. Al. I bet. Look, dude. <laughs> Facebook might suck, but at least he's not using paint. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. <'em. laughs> Fucking based. Uh, <laughs> I tried using GIMP, but. Oh, dude, Man, yeah. it, it, it like, no. I'm not one of those Elon people, but it fucking pisses I me off it. that like he was the villain of like our fucking like our whole narrative. Like he was like the fucking villain of the world, and they somehow flipped it around and made Elon that and made him like the good guy in this bizarre way. Well, this was that, the plan, like, uh, dude. It turns out Elon Musk is just a fucking retard. Yeah, <laughs> it turns <laughs> out. <laughs> So wait, where is where's Zuckerberg on this on the the suffering scale, on the suffering side of it? He, he suffered uh, fifteen. Fifteen? Maybe it should go even lower. I'd go to that's ten no, on that, but, but that's fine. That's it. Once we're within yeah, five points, I don't give I mean, a shit. It's good. You had to go to college and <laughs> yeah. And yeah, that's pretty bad. It sucks. I'll give that. Yeah. You have to like take tests and shit. Fuck that. Oh, it's it like the big maybe floppy he college, actually. But doesn't enjoy all the lizard accusations yeah that's that's literally as far as i'm concerned that's the only thing he's dealing with and he gets to live as a reptilian and that's fucking awesome yeah he, he lived he's, uh... under <laughs> under the earth i think it was under rhodesia it's where the the Rhodes family used to go to to uh harvest their diamonds they had a lot of slaves and it was known for a place as a place where there were lots of like these reptilian creatures and all that and when cecil Rhodes died they heard all of these creatures howling in the mines in Rhodesia all night long. Mm. Dude, Mark Zuckerberg grew up to be one of those reptilians. <laughs> I believe it. Also, all fun right. fact, you know what it, his name means? In German. No, what? Sucker is mean? sugar, and Berg is a mountain. Sugar mountain. Sugar mountain. A mountain of sugar. Mountain of cocaine. Hmm. Mountain of cocaine. I can't Hell yeah. That. Casey Jones. Oh, yeah, bro. Yeah. Where are we now? All right. That Get Zuckerberg. Yeah, he's yeah. fine. Leave him. Hate that guy. Such I don't want to think about him anymore. Uh, we do, it's mostly that he is a symbol of, like, technological stuff. But should we do... Uh, let's do the caveman. A caveman. What do you think, Jack? Are you feeling the caveman? Okay. Caveman. Now, this is a goofy one. I don't really know what to do yeah. with all of this. What... What could a caveman do to deserve it? Uh, what if he exactly. like fucked the other caveman's wife? You have to imagine if you don't if you can't imagine a circumstance, then this whole exercise is pointless. I mean, I think very he, active breeding gets you involved in the cycle of karma, and he is responsible for everything that happened afterwards. So, uh, I think the wheel exactly. was a pretty big mistake. Yeah, fire. Um, I think a caveman suffered that much nor deserved it because i think that what caveman like suffering is 30, like 30. if we suffered as a caveman did it would be a fucking hundred but the caveman yeah. to the caveman it's like a third yeah, yeah 30, 30. suffering 30, 30. is more uh, human it's like what we're geared to handle which when, when you explain it like that it don't even sound like suffering at all it, it's yeah, no, like it's of course oh, it's yeah. suffering you really? with your loved ones and uh Get I mean, the right. question is like do you consider 
it's a, a survival suffering. It is to an extent. All life is suffering. I will concede, yeah. but it, like, yeah. I would on my my scale here, like the average. I don't even want to say the average person who suffers. Like someone who who suffers, but it's like a normal their normal life suffering shit that normally happens is like a thirty, right? That's where my mind is. I don't know. Because now we can think of this a lot of ways. Like 50 could be like the average of all human suffering. Exactly. But, we're, we're, we're but to me, we're, we're including people like Frodo and Alex Jones, which goes far beyond yeah. the normal human suffering. Yeah. 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 I I'd don't say know. 30, 30 on the caveman. Because it's just a normal day in his life. You know, like, all yeah, I'm saying is I'm trying to save the 100 spot awesome. for my man, JC. Yeah, 100 spot think, definitely. Uh, JC. Yeah. He definitely did not deserve to suffer. He was just a caveman. He must have 30, deserved 30, it, yeah. as we've all deserved it. He must I deserve 30, it to some 30. extent. Not that much. Not I would, I would give him the old 30 30. The 30 30 sounds about old right old. because I, now I'm assuming yeah, he's a person 30. just like me. Yeah, he's a person like that. That's his life. Yeah. 30 30. All right. Yeah, he suffered. Suffered more. Yeah, than Zuckerberg. yeah I can do that. Yeah. I can do that. Sure. Yeah, about twice as much as Zuckerberg. That sounds right because I mean, Zuckerberg we... is like half human. <laughs> no, or I would, I would yeah. have higher on the suffering. What do we even mean by I, I keep them on like, thirty? Or, but what, it, what is like, the suffering that you're considering that high? It, dude, it like that kind of world is completely different. I know uh, that's that's yeah, the point. Yeah, I, I this, is, he, this is this is what we're talking about. Like, this should be our baseline. This is the yeah, normal he is not human, like, like, how a human is supposed to be. This is the average. Is, you got you got blood hole diseases back then. Is our is our like, how can yeah, this like, chart account for time? I don't even think it's capable of doing that. So all I can really do is assuming I can assume that the caveman suffering were the equivalent of our sufferings in, in that we get through our day and we expect really no more, no less. Yeah, he's, he's neutral. He's thirty thirty. But there's a man before like modern time. Like you but have... how are you going to account for that on this fucking graph? First, you have to decide how to account for it before you start applying how what you're counting. Your rule uh, between every five uh, points, it increases tenfold. On on the how much do they deserve it? No, nah, I'm joking. I don't know. You're trying to apply like... something we can't apply here. All I can do is assume that his normal human suffering is equivalent to my normal human suffering, because otherwise it throws you... the whole thing yeah, off. You see, yeah. he's hot. I think that's what yeah. they're doing. Yeah. Like, uh, hold on, hold on, hold on, Dalb, Al, what are you saying? I, I'm saying like Al! Yes, that's me. Then perhaps we should have started with this guy because he's gonna be a, like a reference point. Yeah, maybe. Normal, normal guy. I, I think this motherfucker throws off the whole goddamn chart. To be totally honest, so I'm trying to take the most like conservative Good. approach to it. I, I broke my yeah. own system by throwing in a caveman. <laughs> How can you? Can, you can't compare a caveman to Alex Jones. He just doesn't because the suffering is so fucking wildly different, and the shit Alex Jones is dealing with, while it's not as painful as what the caveman's dealing with, is on a level that the caveman can't even fathom. While it works the other uh, way yeah, too. But... Yeah, Why do you do this to me, caveman? <laughs> he's in thirty thirty. He's Let's true just neutral. put him somewhere and forget true. about him. I think he should be average true. man rather than caveman. We just put true him at thirty true. thirty. Yeah, thirty thirty. Thirty thirty. Yeah. He's average man. Like, like, twenty five twenty five. I thought it's thirty. Yeah, twenty five twenty five. Whatever. Within five points is the same thing here. There's too many fucking matter, holes yeah. in the goddamn chart. There That's we go. good 25, for the guy. Twenty five twenty five. There we go. I become attached to this. <laughs> He is us. Uh, he represents he, our suffering. Yeah, is what a, I'm trying to say here. Yeah, 25, 25, or 30, 30. That's exactly. Dude, right. he's literally me. Yeah, yeah oh. now you get it. Missed the part. See my sick paint skills. <laughs> So uh, cause I'm just trying wow. to think like, okay, so the caveman could be eaten by a lion and yeah, that's like suffering. But to the caveman being eaten by the lion, like if you tell a caveman, they'd be like, yeah, it could be eaten by the lion. It's the same thing, eaten. but your whole family could... could die in a car wreck. What is the exactly. difference? Yeah. Yeah, it's just like shit we deal with. We, we accept these facts and we move on with our lives. It's the same for him. Wait, what's a higher probability? The I car think, wreck yeah. or the getting eaten by a lion? I think it's, it's probably pretty I think similar. It's 
fair, okay. similar enough to compare. It's, 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 it's going to happen difference. to somebody. Is kind of the point. It's gonna happen. Yep. Biggest difference between his world and our world would be that his is more natural and or is a little bit more perverted by yeah, machines. But that that dreams. is something yeah. that this chart that is not prepared to account for. <laughs> but that's not gonna stop me from trying. <laughs> All, right, who's next? All right, next guy. We do Bigfoot since we just did the caveman. What? Bigfoot. He's like, he's like the inverse caveman. Bigfoot. Guy. Bigfoot's Ooh. another tough one that'll yeah. throw off the whole fucking chart if we get out of yeah. line on this. Yeah, yeah. Fucking Bigfoot. Yeah. Bigfoot. Bigfoot, in theory, doesn't really deserve anything. But I think the no. fact that he's so intelligent but he hasn't made himself known means he kind of deserves to be hunted. Like, killed? I don't know. But he's got to assume that people are hunting him on some level. I'd say 40. 40 on the deserve it. Probably 40. That's fair, I think. You got any other I mean, opinions? He had, to, he had to suck some cocks that can't have been. <laughs> yeah, it was a fun. I mean, maybe it was, dude. Maybe. How much has he actually suffered, though? That's the big question. Not nearly Sorry. enough. Nobody really knows him. He's kind of mysterious. So I would say on suffering, maybe if his, like, like let's, I don't know. I don't want to take the, like, the atheist approach, but. Maybe like if it's a, a low species animal, like there's not many of them per se, and that's like this suffering. It's okay, suffering. I, I'll buy that. I'll buy that. What does yeah. that account for? Does that count for much more than like a? I guess okay. So now being the la it, now think of being the last of your species. That actually is suffering like pretty badly. Yeah, I mean like he's miserably mm -hmm. lonely. Yeah, that's another. Uh, how is he the last of his species? Well, he's not the last. Species. My my point is that the point is there be there not they're not numerous, and that's kind of a bummer. Yeah, yeah. that that's yeah. something where like you can compare, you can see yourself in that position and know that that's that is not a normal level of suffering. That's like another level of suffering, right? Yeah, I would say yeah. like fifty on the suffering. It's 40, so hard 50, to do this with Bigfoot also. Because... That that your people are going. The way yeah. of the dodo, my dude. Like I think watching Bob Gimlin on YouTube, you get <laughs> yeah. the impression that uh, there is a thriving Bigfoot population in North America. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. I, I don't <laughs> think there's over 400 of them in the whole continent of North America. Damn, y'all put him He's higher. Like, I'd on say the I think he was going to deal with his friend, the caveman here. Right? Oh, I, well, think, I think I think that's more appropriate. Bigfoot absolutely deserves it more than the caveman. Wait. The caveman has all of the same problems as Bigfoot, but Bigfoot is okay. going out of his way to avoid the people who are clearly going to hunt for him, making them hunt harder yeah. for him, depending exacerbating his, his problem. Then I say it's it's going to depend on his own level of consciousness. Okay. Does he understand 40. his own surroundings as well as the caveman? I, I think he must. He's intelligent enough to avoid people, yeah. If he's we're assuming that he's not. real and all these stories are true, he must be intelligent enough. Then these are pretty much I think he's same. like a 35. I think he's... he's, I think he's 35. He deserves a, a new more conspiracy. Bigfoot or caveman. I think you know Bigfoot is a 35 on suffering and then yeah. maybe 40 on deserve it. Bigfoot's not man enough to ask for help. He deserve it for now. I want to put him just like thirty-five. Uh, maybe he he's done some kidnapping. Well, I mean, like, yeah. What if he's kidnapped? What if the rape story? That's like, viable. But like I said, I think he must deserve it more than the caveman, because yeah. the caveman knows when to ask for help. The Bigfoot will not come yeah. to his fellow sapien hominid creatures and ask for our help. He will run from us, and that is his own folly, creating the problem he's in if he's an animal yeah he's an animal not. type he's in he's a doe i think that's a perfect place for him is where you got him 35 and 40 it is. yeah feels about right yeah. right Th those were probably the hardest ones oh yeah. maybe jesus and the buddha is gonna be nah look, honestly uh, let's be real those are the easiest let's do cyrax next <laughs> it's, yeah, it's gonna be uncomfortable to put them cyrax. with this lot all right, who's the next uh, one? Cyrax, or Cyrax. he deserved it. I don't know much. The Max. 
He deserves it the man. No, yeah. the suffering is not that big. Uh, no, I I think you guys it. kind of have it backwards. Maybe you're not up on your Cyrax <laughs> lore, to be honest. But the fact <laughs> of the matter is, like, this dude, he 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 was being trolled so bad that his like biggest troll rented an apartment across the street to troll him. Which now, like that, that is it's suffering. And there's definitely an aspect of deserving it. But you know what he did when that fucking happened? He got a bat and beat the shit out of him with a bat. That's what Cyrax, Cyrax did. Now, now that so might, you can see this as deserving it possibly, but the fact of the matter is a court of law looked at that and was like, yeah, your trolls are insufferable. I would have hit him with bats too. And he got off scot-free. <laughs> so it what seems to me sure. that the suffering is very high. Um, as far okay, as like his yeah, life yeah, is I'll ruined by the trolling, his fucking personal life is just obliterated completely by the trolling. Let's fucking face it. 70, 70, 70, but 70. Now, I, I think that the deserving it has to be seen, um, you know, well, proportionally right. to the amount of suffering he's received to some extent also. And I think he, what is his deserving it? Like lying. And I guess they say there's that one time he was like texting what, who we thought was a 14 year old. But then, but that brings up the question is like being a retard who is like catfished by trolls. Like, is that suffering or deserving it? Like maybe it just breaks even. I'm not even sure. I don't know that much about him, but I feel like this is a guy who has been pushed into this Dude, what's misery that he's in. Have you noticed that his hands are bigger than his head? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> What the fuck but that's the thing that? is you have to and you also have to understand that half of his deserving it from like the troll standpoint is just look at him of course he deserves it what are we going to not make fun of him and that's yeah, understandable just, too yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy deserves dude. what's coming for him <laughs> yep. oh, i think there's a definite yeah. element of deserving it here i just think i think this the suffering might outperform the deserving in this Situation. Okay, yeah, I think like 85, 70. Suffered 85 and deserved it 70. Okay, I'm not putting him above Frodo and suffering. <laughs> okay, yeah. I mean, it's Frodo, it's Frodo actually maybe the low. First I, yeah, I, honestly, the first I think he gets towards Alex Jones' level because Alex Jones' levels, his yeah, like, yeah. Alex Jones' yeah, personal yeah, life is pretty yeah. well obliterated, but he can still go on with yeah, his life. Cyrex yeah, will not be able that. to go on with his life. You know, Alex Jones' like personal bad. life is we should go below Alex Jones. Dog, because everybody okay, knows who Alex Jones is. He's not, he is literally like, to be honest, he's basically depersoned. He's not allowed to have like an official account anywhere supported by anything. But he is still and will always be Alex Jones. Yeah. He's on Rumble. He'll never it? take that. From yeah, but that doesn't count for anything. <laughs> It doesn't even that's count. Something. That's where we are. It sucks. Yeah, yeah. I would say I would say he's like he uh, like yeah, I'd say that uh he's a sixty on the level. Like sixty to sixty five, uh, same level as Yeah, I, I Yeah, that's about it's similar to Alex Jones. I'd actually put him on the same level as Alex Jones because he doesn't owe any money. Alex Jones owes a billion dollars. In terms of suffering. I'd say seventy yeah. on deserve on deserved it seventy. Yeah, yeah, they just said he can't he can't use bankruptcy to protect himself now. I, it's what all fake. I, he can't pay it. They know he can't pay it. He doesn't have a billion dollars in his pocket, it turns out. It's all <laughs> symbolic. It makes no fucking sense. And that's why, that's the main reason, like, symbolic. I, I think, like, that is how bad it is for Alex Jones. Like, no matter how much money you have, you will always owe us a billion dollars. Like, that's horrifying. That's bad. This is him, him thinking about it. Yeah. <laughs> How right. many zeros are there even in that number? So yeah, I think Cyrax should be at like a sixty to seventy as far as deserving it. Deserved it. Yeah, I think seventy. What do we think? There is the time he was texting a fourteen-year-old, but it was also a troll just trying to like ruin his life. I don't know if that gives him points or not. He's re retarded. I don't know. It's a retarded guy. <laughs> <laughs> if we were gonna move him up, then um, I mean, yeah, I'm no, talking no, no. on the I deserving it bad. side. I think suffering no, is perfect, it's honestly. He's perfect on suffering. Yeah, that's like seventy now. He is at uh, thirty-five. Did he deserve it a bit more? Forty, maybe. Fifty at least. Who are we talking about? Cyrax? I think a good yeah, fifty. Cyrax. I think fifty is solid. But I'd go above fifty-two if you persuaded me on it. Yep. Yep. 
I think 50 is fine. 50 is, is an above average amount of deserving it, but it's still pretty human, I yeah. guess, is what I'm getting at. Yeah, me. I'd say 50, yeah. Yeah. 45, 45, 50. And I'm yeah. thinking, like, with Alex Jones, like, his level of deserving it, I think, is a pretty human level. Like, he's he's doing what he does, like, what he was meant yeah. to do on this earth. Like, I I get that. Cyrex was not put on this earth to make, like, horrifying YouTube videos. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was not supposed yeah. to be like this. <laughs> it's not yeah, in its essence, prime. Yeah. His name. This, yeah, this guy was made to do what he does, Alex Jones, <laughs> to perform like that. <laughs> Screw you, music right, business. Yeah. Cyrex. <laughs> The music business uh, trilogy. <laughs> yeah. He approves. He's like, all right, I can take that. <laughs> the record label. Like, I, it's, 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 it's so fucking funny during that fucking uh, art that, like, he, he really thought, like, guys, we what were about doing? to sign him. And the way the way they retracted it was like so obvious and predictable. It's like it's like, hey, let's like dangle this like opportunity of a, like getting signed, and then like recede it immediately and see how it reacts. And it was like so easy, dude. Well, because it's literally messing with a retarded person, which is fine. I'm just saying, I don't think the, the hey, deserving hey. it, I've seen higher. I've seen more people deserve yeah. worse things. Is, is, he, is he really it's retarded like, or does he have just low down. IQ? Is he just what low IQ? What the fuck is the difference? <laughs> <laughs> you're fucking low IQ I enough, mean, you're a retard from where I'm sitting. I don't yeah. know. <laughs> is he stupid because he's retarded or retarded because he's stupid? Yeah. All right, so let's go the, to uh, Linkola. Yeah, the Finnish guy, I was going to say. I don't know what the, the fuck Finnish this guy guy. did, and I don't know what the fuck happened to him. He's Let's an environmentalist bird. He actually I know that. He just kind of like eco fast, right? A yeah, bit. I know yeah, all the pine yeah. tree dudes on fucking Twitter loved him. Not a fan yeah, of the pine tree guys. He lived a very <laughs> humble life as a fisherman. Yeah. And, uh, I, love he hated... I love fishing. Fishing's fun. He hated basically civilization. Put his head on oh, Big yeah, Lenny's body. Yes, yeah, like. <laughs> yes. Put his head on Big Lenny's body. Yeah, put his head merge on him. Big Lenny's body. Yeah, merge him. Adolf Stalin's a big fan of his. Yeah, I bet. Adolf. That retard. He'll fucking, <laughs> he'll fucking do anything the computer tells him to do, it turns out. Fuck me, <laughs> dude. Hey, shit. No, I don't even know who these people are. It's not even like I can pretend like I don't like <laughs> Linkola. I don't give a crap. I'm sorry. My thing with Lee Cola is, I mean, he he has a point as far as like the eco shit. Like if you if you shit on the environment too much, it makes life miserable on like everyone. And like I think like the Chinese are finding that out in some places. You um, know who else said that? Al Gore, and he sucked. <laughs> Al Gore does suck. Al Gore sucks like man bear. You don't have to like unironically signal that these days. Just like goes without saying, I think. Yeah, that's, that's the thing. I'd say, on him, I would say suffering. How did he die? 15. Al Gore, I fucking, die. I shot him in his face in front of his wife in the middle of the night. <laughs> Link could have died of old age as an old man. Yeah, so I'd say like 15 uh, suffering. And maybe a 25 is mean, out of it. He's a, a little crybaby, this guy. He describes I, going I'll assume he's wolf. a crybaby. This sounds like another of, fucking of, crybaby. Uh, <laughs> down the trees. And he, he tells, like, from his childhood when they made the first asphalt road through his well, village. Like, this dude, they this hated it all. Like, well, I know, but if he was on Twitter, like, if Twitter existed back then. Oh, the my time, God, that, dude. Yeah, you're he making him sound so he gay. Would, he would just be an edgy Twitter guy. Like, that's it. Like, right. that's I, think, I think he suffered, like, a bit because he was so emotional, personally. Just yeah. suffering for the trees. <laughs> <laughs> and the human suffering and uh, he's the human Lorax. He's the human Lorax. Uh, he deserved it 25 for being a tribe. Right? Oh, We're talking about Lincola, Mod. What do you think of Lincola? Yeah, give us your take. Hey, Lincola? Yeah. yeah the... <laughs> a quick rundown. <laughs>
What the fuck is Lin Kwan? I'm, I'm doing a fucking dab. I'm yelling at oh, them that right. nobody cares about this spur oh, crap. Man. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh my god, we got a chart voice. It's just a good oh. yeah. Oh, the Finnish environmentalist. Yeah, he's cool. He's, he's pretty think, much a Muslim. But we must I answer Mac, now. I think Jack thought his Mac was muted. He, he's listen, listen, yeah. I got it. I bought what, it. I figured it out. Doing? Dog, he's it's listen. too too complicated streaming business. Too complicated to explain to you fucking pinheads, okay? Uh, <laughs> ever told. You the, see the, the torture. Put a, how much what, did they suffer? And how put, much uh, did they deserve it? Put Linkola <laughs> suffering at least 90. Give him a solid 90. Why? Did no, this is throwing off the entire fucking chart. Fuck no. Look, we have yeah, Alex no. Jones yeah. and Cyrex here and Frodo above him. Yeah, this guy Linkola, run down. Linkola, Linkola has to suffer industrial society. Everybody. Yes, no, we yeah, all do that shit. Right. It's gay, but I, I'm do doing that. that right now. It's not that bad. Yeah, but, but he's older than you. He lived better than I don't give a shit. No, from all I can hear from any of this shit, that's called suffering. What? All this shit makes me think this guy didn't really suffer fucking jack shit at all. I don't think he suffered much. He lived as he wanted to also. He gets a 30 at max because we've already established that's baseline suffering, but I'm thinking like this fucking egghead dude with this motherfucking about the cave, over the cave man, more yeah. suffering? Why? Sounds like he had a pretty like I think he's on nice life. Because this guy wants to be a caveman. This guy yeah. is already a caveman. Yeah. Done. Okay, I see that. All right, that's fair. That's I'll get it. that. Yeah. Uh, you sold me. Yeah. Uh, Frodo yeah, should me. be at least a ninety. No, hold, dude. We didn't even get to the religious figures mod. Hold your oh. horses. <laughs> yeah, right. Like the scale. They would go off the shorts then. The religious Re figures. The religious yeah, figures. Right. The religion. Buddy. Yeah. Our favorite. Religious, religious figure, 9 11 guy. All yeah. praise, 9 11 guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> praise, 9 -11 guy. Yeah. Let's see, Bush. Uh, well, he's a weird Freemasonic Texan guy. We do Just Bush? like me. I, think, I don't think oh, you could mean? ask for it harder than being the ruler of the U.S. in yeah, this, this modern yeah. era. I don't think that is, that should yeah. be the number one target for everyone on Earth. Yeah, what's that, Ken? Hello, what's hell Kay's of a golfer. Look at the, look, watch his drive. We also decided He's earlier that he really likes the Who. Ah. What is that? He's never big Lenny. What is all that noise, Flame? Would you just shit all over the floor? What was that? <laughs> that was the interest. Stop. What the fuck? So Jesus, we have no, we have Big that? Lenny one and Big Lenny two, which <laughs> no, we just want <laughs> so do 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 people agree with me that if you're if you were a president, you are like asking for trouble. Period. Yeah, you're done asked. Like a, yeah, I think a solid ninety. I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think yeah, of who yeah, is yeah. asking, who's cruising for a bruising more than the president, president of the United States. I'm not really sure. Yeah, no, I mean, the only does people it deserve it. Yes, the only people that like that I think are in that yeah. tier. You got people. That's the same tier I'd put like Kim Jong Il in, for example, something like that, where they're like, they know they're cruising for a bruise, and they've accepted that. Like they're doing it as hard as they can. <laughs> right? Yeah, I'd say 90 on the deserved it. Deserved it 90. And how much and did he I think suffer? He suffered 25, did maybe. He suffer? I mean, he didn't made... necessarily suffer that much. He made he Iraq suffer more. That's, yeah, the, Iraq. that's the deserving it part. <laughs> I yeah, I think if we're if I'm thinking like 25, 30 is common man suffering, he probably suffered less than that. Yeah, I think like 20. Oh, he found his he, best friend, the Zuckerberg. He got like arrested for yeah. like coke possession or something at one point. His dad got him out of it. That's probably the most suffering there was. And he has a movie. Well, you see, Sonny, Damn. sometimes you have to inhale a little bit of that cocaine to be a good president. So Zuckerberg, I, hmm, I almost feel like Bush should be ahead of Zuckerberg, but it really is like neck and neck. I could like make an argument. Yeah, it is neck and neck. It's perfect where they're at. Fool me once. Same box also. Shame yeah. on me. Fool yeah. me twice. Yeah. Won't get fooled again. Yeah. 
All right, uh, let's see. Use butter knife to sharpen a rhinoceros horn. Can we do Ethan Riles? Fine. Yeah, I'll do Ethan Riles. I mean, he's slowly dying of cancer. Ralph, that's, cancer? that's the other guy. <laughs> it's not Ralph. Oh, that's, that's, yeah, that's, 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 that's Ralph's nature. mortal enemy, actually. He's slowly dying yeah. of cancer. Um, slowly dying of dying. I, I like Ralph. <laughs> Ralph was good to me when I talked to Ralph. I had a great time, and I <laughs> spent a lot of good time <laughs> enjoying <laughs> listening to Ralph. I think Ralph... Yeah, I think you might be able to. There, you could make the argument that he has deserved it more than the common man. That he's asked for it more than the common mm. man. I'd say like yeah, forty. I'd but say 40 at the same the time, he's another one of those guys who did it like knowingly and like yeah, they got fucked, but like <laughs> they demanded it. I mean, it's like thirty-five suffering. I would say his suffering is above the common man's suffering. Is it above the amount of the amount of suffering? suffering? Yeah, the amount yeah, of muggings uh, and beatings this man has taken. Yeah, thirty. I would. Think, the, uh, I'm. I'm thinking like a fifty. Honestly, I want to put him below because okay, he's yeah. like he's like a, a smaller version of Alex Jones, really. If you think about it, like yeah, he's about on sad <laughs> Pepe level. Yeah, I'd say yeah. Yeah. In terms of suffering. Yeah, I'm about a fifty. Up, you know, I would. I would say yeah. he suffered like fifty. I want to say almost sixty, but then I'm, he's pushing Alex Jones, yeah. and he didn't get. Fuck yeah. that hard, man. Yeah. Forty. He probably has similar <laughs> problems to Alex Jones, but he doesn't owe a billion dollars. Yeah, so drinking himself to death. A I've seen me. Right. I've seen me yeah, more obese. Yeah, good place for him. Perfect. Yeah. I think maybe these guys should go up. Not yet. I don't. I don't really know. Uh, no, maybe, maybe we not. got Jesus yet. Jesus. That's died. what I'm saying. Oh, <laughs> that's my. Yeah, that's exactly. my point. <laughs> All right, so let's let's do Picasso. I don't know. It is a difficult task. No, uh, I mean the dude was clearly insane. Yeah, we'll do Picasso. All right, next Ted, Jim Jones. Uh, All right, let's go with Jim Jones. Yeah, we'll do Jim Jones. Jim Jones. Another Uh, one who I do this. I know another one who I think always did deserve it. Most definitely. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna say that. Mm-hmm. He's very good. Yeah. I mean, he's I Californian. I'll never give him that. There are many I things I admire that. about Jim Jones, uh, but once again, it's one of these guys who went out of their way to ask for his entire goddamn life. It turns out. Yes. So like a hundred undeserved it. Did he suffer though? Besides killing himself, I mean, really, not really. Not really. Not he never so much. cared about it anyway. I'm sure there was suffering involved, but I don't think it was too much more than the average man. Um, well, Thirty-five on suffering. Like it's it's suffering with character. Here somewhere, I feel like. Yeah. Now here's the yeah, thing. The, uh, and it, does he does he get points off of deserving it for being the reason a congressman was like blasted or something? Oh yeah, yeah. We can we okay, definitely nine, bring nine, him nine. down about uh, ten points. Nine. Brownie points yeah, on that. Really make him yeah, yeah. Serve put him exactly. above. Put him above well, the former U.S. I, president. My That's thinking true. is this chart is like it almost assumes a downfall, but like I I feel like it was like best case scenario. Could that have gone any better? Like not really. <laughs> it came out of it great. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of how I'm seeing it, but. Yeah, that's perfect right there, right above the president. They're all dead. Great. <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Well, didn't they attack an air, uh, airport? Didn't wasn't I think there a plan to attack an airport? I mean, they shot up a, a yeah, an airfield with yeah. they they killed like a congressman. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I think yeah. They're forming teams here. Look, this guy is. They're conspiring, of course. Yeah, they got a faction. Of course. They're all conspiring. They're like whispering to each other now. It's the, it's hey, the free man sonic. It's music. almost a pyramid. We know how one we can more. make the other guys suffer more. <laughs> this this right, guy's pretty low. I'm, I'm feeling Thanks, a Pop. certain supreme gentleman, maybe. Get Elliot in. Yeah, Elliot. Get the supreme gentleman in, yeah. Jump scare. Boo. <laughs> Right. Jack, are you there? I, I want your thoughts on Elliot, if you were I'm present. Here. Yeah, yeah. Jimmy, Elliot. what are your Elliot, thoughts uh, on Elliot? Are the experts? Oh, right uh, <laughs> Elliot Rogers. Uh, wow, there's so much to say about Elliot. The Isle uh, of Vista oh shooter. Shit. Uh, I mean, 
How much did he, he deserve it? How much did he suffer? I mean, like, didn't he, like, on top of shooting those women, didn't he, like, stab his roommates who were just, like, yes. random people? He was, yeah. he was rooming with, like, two random Chinese dudes, and he stabbed the shit out of them. <laughs> At that point, yeah. he learned how difficult it is to actually kill people, and he was totally fucking winded. <laughs> He went to the fucking sorority house and banged on the door. It was like, let me in. I'm going to murder you. And they were like, no. And then he, he drove down the road and shot some people. <laughs> Actually, he managed to kill. He managed to kill three women. And while he was driving, he managed to kill one other person. Yeah, but his plan was to go to the yeah, sorority house and kill them all, and it, like instead, he yeah, didn't and then do like turn his house into a torture chamber, and later oh, yeah. declare he was God. Obviously, <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, did he really? Well, I mean, yeah. dog, if he, he, I've read his, I've read his auto autobiography. I guess I've read it multiple times. I've listened to audiobooks of it. I wouldn't sit there reading it, but I did listen to it multiple times, and. The the thing is, like, he writes as if he is Ramsey Bolton in Game of Thrones. Yeah. Okay. And he is. He's reading A Song of Ice and Fire and taking influence from it. He's he's plainly saying that in the book. He's playing World of Warcraft and he's he's becoming a villain. He's talking like he's a fantasy villain. And he wants to make a a yeah, a flaying chamber in his house. Like he's Ramsey Bolton. And he was actively pretending to be these characters and basically proclaiming that in the book he wrote. I think um, he suffered because he went through the whole fucking like, um, like fucking pickup artist pipeline shit. Yeah, Pollock. Dude, he he, uh, he <laughs> suffered. He, I, I would say he suffered greatly because he had no hope. His dad he's... also produced Christian movies. <laughs> Didn't his dad produce like, the Hunger Games or some shit like that's that? That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah that too. But there was there was like a for for a short time his his dad had produced um Christian home to video video home to video I movies. Off with Jennifer Lawrence. He also had to suffer with his little brother, so that was. But that was not I suffering. A, Only an incel would think that battle. shit was suffering. That was literally having that was having a little brother with more riz than you. Like, <laughs> sorry, you like dude. I mean, <laughs> yeah. from what I from what I've seen of the little guys, fairly. I think it, it, it's in here somewhere. He, he, he's suffering. definitely high maybe a bit more because of him. He's definitely high on the dessert. I would say he suffers on, the, oh, what on time. the same level of... No, Sad Pepe. Put him up, put him up with yeah, Sad Pepe. Yeah, no, put him up with Cyrax. Yeah, 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 that works. Put him up with Cyrax and put him at 100, uh, 100 I, suffering. I honestly... No, uh, I think I think no his, his deserving it has to dwarf his actual suffering. Yeah. It In does. all honesty, I, he was a pathetic no. retard. No, it, it, yeah, <laughs> he's the that dumbest. Is, he's just the dumbest retard. No, actually, no, it, it wasn't. Really he had he had what's every what's potential to rise above any of those problems. He didn't pick what's a single what's one to make better. He only made weird videos on YouTube that were very yeah, threatening. Yeah. In the end, Wait, when it came when it came I to his know. reproduction problem, like he has this, he had the same problem as Chris Chan. It was so, only dude, like, you're telling me though. Chris Chan didn't deserve it like crazy the whole time he was like all he had yeah, to do he... was stop talking to the trolls. He deserved yeah. it. Exactly. Also, I think um like if fucking Elliot Roger had, had like graduated college, probably gotten some really nice job in Hollywood yeah. through his dad, yeah. he would have been fucking fine. Whereas there's no there is no there is no no alternate reality where Chris Chan would be fine. Yeah, that's right. And that's no- that's another yeah, level of true. suffering too. Is that people like Chris Chan and Cyrax, their personal lives have been obliterated. It didn't look bright before, but now right. it's done. It's over completely. Yeah. He was also taking psychotic meds, if I remember correctly, and he purposely stopped taking them. <sighs> that means must, almost least, nothing uh, to me. I can't remember how we ended. He died uh, 
the shooting? Yeah, he got shot no, by the cops. No, he shot himself, himself yeah. twice in the head. Yeah, 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 sure. He, had, he was shot by the cops, and then he shot himself. One, he, he took five pills, tablets of Xanax, right? And then Not he enough took to kill one you. pistol. <laughs> yeah. One pistol. Uh, pointed at one side of his head. And then another gun he had on hand. And shot himself twice in the head. Twice in the back of his head. Twice in the back of his head. Once, once you have already killed people, though, that's not suffering. That's just the way it goes. It's neither good nor bad. Yeah, it's like you've it, it started has... this yeah. thing. Definitely deserving. Like those Palestinian children, they deserved it. <laughs> and I, I honestly would say the cop out that the end of his life was makes the rest of his life. It's like, yeah, of course he was treated like shit. That's just what he was like. Yeah. I mean. He probably deserved more suffering than he actually got. Yeah, that's another yeah. thing. And that, 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 that is the key. Yeah, his own car. That, this is the key of what Jack is saying, though, is that like he deserved so much more suffering from the way he was acting. But if he just stuck it out a few more years, all, everything would have just probably worked out. Easy. Yeah. Like, he's like every fucking like rich asshole you see at like a part like a college party yeah, but like just, some like, woman would have boned him it's like easy yeah it just would have happened a little, little bit crazy really? and was a little going through a little bit too much shit i guess and that's that's just how spoiled he was that he like going through like the same amount of shit that like a typical person goes through led him to murder people <laughs> yeah he was so smug about himself yeah. yeah, that's the I mean, he really thought he was, was God. Was it, it is that level of narcissism that is so deserving, right? Right. Yeah, that's true. That's a very good point. And, like, we I see that it. in these other people, too, but they have, like, redeeming qualities. Exactly. There's no redeeming. I don't know about George yeah. Bush, but. <laughs> All right. George Bush at least, suffered at least a lot. At least it was a bit funner. Yeah. But, oh, you, yes, this. These guys are to blame for this because they invented the internet, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Al Gore did that yeah. too. Actually, he he invented Gore, global Zuckerberg, warming yeah. and Al the Gore internet. Nine Eleven, yeah, and he invented the internet medium. Oops. Al Gore invented Sasquatch. That's true. Where are we on? Are I we mean, on this fucking thing? I believe it. I said this would eat up an hour. Has it eaten an hour yet? I think well, it has eaten think an hour. <laughs> Let's do it. We could, we could, uh, Let's fucking get through it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Or should we put the bookmark in it? Or should we continue? I think we should fucking we hammer this goddamn it. thing out. Yeah. There can always be part two, like you said. We can do it better, but. Ed. Ted Kaczynski. Ted. Uncle Ted. Yeah. What do you think? <clears throat> I, uh. Once, this is this another is thing where Maud said, like, his suffering was having to live in the modern age. Like, sorry. It's fun no, <laughs> no. It was his, his suffering was different. That's how you did, he was subjected like, to CIA yes. interrogation yeah. at the age yeah, of seventeen. Why? Well, shut up, Pollock. Shut up. <laughs> know what you're saying? Good one at a time. So he was subjected to MK Ultra and various CIA interrogation methods based around humiliation okay yeah i i buy that i know i've heard all these stories before and this I mean, gave him this gave him several complexes one was he didn't belong in his body that he was like a torture see all of this is fucking community. bullshit to me and i understand that the, the mind control and all of that is definitely suffering but once we get into like their personal problems then it starts to just sound like shit you shouldn't deal with well, well, I mean that. And then he, and then he started. He went across the country. He applied for a sex change operation. That's what I'm saying. Times. Like, how? Okay, the oh, I feel so sorry for all the people who have done like, that. No, this is in this is in chronological order, right? So what? It's all this. Everything sparked from what he went through at uh, Harvard. So what? Well, being I, interrogated. I well, honestly, the, I think yeah. his suffering is pretty much on par with Ethan Ralph. And then, well, I, it, I, was I, Ethan I, Ralph I, like I, a molded I, into I, a CIA? I mean, Ethan like Ralph a was, hamster. 
I mean, he was he was used. Hold up, hold up. Ethan Ralph was definitely used to push certain agendas by certain people with money at some point, as all people in the alt right scene were. But at the end of the day, I think the destruction of Ethan Ralph's complete social anything, his his whole personage has been completely annihilated, and I think that pretty much is on par with anything you've said. Well, I mean. he was this was MK Ultra. Um, was it brainwashing that he did go through, which is like trauma based, as he said, humiliation. Uh, no, if you want to talk I, humiliation, you should see what Ethan Ralph went through. Yeah. I mean, I mean, he, he was, was also betrayed by his brother. Years, yeah, just years and true. years of humiliation, day in day out, every yeah, hour, that, every that, moment. They weren't, they weren't uh, telling him to strip down and like pretend he was a dog and to shock him. I really, like, I, but that doesn't. That's like what what prisoners go through, like normally. <laughs> I know, but he was. They were oh, doing that to him when he was seventeen. I know that sounds Harvard. really bad. Ethan Ralph's whole fucking future and existence and personal life has been completely annihilated. Anytime anyone ever tries to look this guy up, they will only see all these bad things. I think it's on that level. Like, I don't know. I, everyone's got fucking weird trauma and weird fucking uh, brain problems from the shit that they suffered i think this is i mean this is this. total bullshit <laughs> I'm with on the, he's a full targeted individual oh, like why did they how did he get but like, I wouldn't, most targeted individuals haven't been targeted as much as ethan ralph but ted ted though like he got ted fucking through like yeah. a big I, mean, kind of I think memes and brainwashed you guys this, this depends yeah. a bit on which version of the story you believe in also because yeah. i've heard some people say that he did I, not send any bombs or but anything you that clearly was, have you you like to these it, these yeah, political yeah. figures that you really like you you want to bias them up a little bit more but i'm seeing he everything on a normal human he wasn't standard a here political figure though oh, he please. had no political we standard. know what i you know what i mean you know exactly right. what i mean <laughs> And I'm looking here, and I'm seeing a normal human oh. suffering as at a 25. If you're talking about that, Ethan Ralph's at a 50, or he's at a 45. I don't see whatever you're talking about as much more than double the human, normal human suffering. Look, he blew up a computer store. I think um, we should we should put him on a on a 40 deserving it. Yeah, yeah and that's put, fine. 50, put them near suffering 40 as well. So we, I, have, we I, have the magic I'll 40, give them the 45. 40. I'll give them the 50, but I think that's the most you can 50, give them. 50, 40. 50, 40. 50, 40. 50, 40. Right and honestly, if I'm being honest, I think his, his suffering is much different than Bigfoot. <laughs> it was it's all just exile from and the fucking civilized world. I don't know, dude. Look, finally, happy ending to the story. He found his soulmate. <laughs> Bigfoot. <laughs> oh, look, they look alike. Like it's it's Harry. I mean, they're, they're oh. kind of related. How did he, like, go to Harvard and just get fucking mind fucked? Like, how did they... I mean, like, because I, like, they... That was the style at the time, you understand. <laughs> Unironically. <laughs> it <in>. <laughs> it's just they the way went... it was. They would take these genius children from a certain selection of, of classes around the country and select them for an MK MK Ultra program. And the the and I, school administrators had no way of knowing um, what tactics they were using, but there was a lot of money involved. Look, I'm not trying to downplay Ted K's suffering, but I think you guys are trying to downplay Ethan Ralph's suffering is the problem. Look, all I know is that he's fat and drunk and I know, beat his wife. Look, I honestly don't I think it's about that. funny as fuck. He deserved it. We, we said he deserved it. What do you want from us? <laughs> <laughs> but it was suffering nonetheless. He was suffering. It really, I don't, really I don't, I don't think it's good. Beat his wife. Did he beat his girlfriend or beat his wife? Some woman was he, getting beat. That's not. I mean, he did. He did like physically abuse her. I guess I, he like choked her and shit happened. But it's not like he was full on beating her. That's a little 
different. I would say I don't know. It's all fucked like up. Grooming a fifteen year old as well. No, she was eighteen. I can't really hate on a guy for banging an eighteen year old. Like I, it's probably not the best <laughs> choice to make, but like I understand <laughs> the fuck. Like it happens. <laughs> it happens. Right. I realize now that uh, we are never gonna use this space because we said this is a standard human suffering. Well, people so have this, suffered less and deserved it less. We should, yeah, people we should have suffered actually, less. Yeah, this is for very fortunate. Yeah, I but don't know I if we have any that. of those people this week. I yeah. mean, to be fair, the cavemen probably suffered more than anybody else. We've been this through this. Episode. We've been through this, though. We his suffering was normal human was suffering normal. for his day. We can't We can't yeah. account in a... We don't have a 3D chart to account for discrepancies in time. Just oh, can't we're not, do it. We're, Okay, we're putting all of these in context. Okay. Trying, at least. Yes. Like, if it was a movie about the life of a kid. I'm assuming, right. like, I, he'll be eaten by a tiger. Like, his whole family's eaten by a tiger. But someone else's whole family today was killed in a car wreck. Like, I, it all kind of evens out in my brain fine. It makes like, it all easier. Yeah. Foot gets yeah. broken, and he just has to lay there and die. But that's not what I happens mean, in a lot of car wrecks, dude. <laughs> that's just, not what happens. Like... That's I what happens in some him. lion attacks. I just threw him in there as a joke, almost. And he, but it's, oh, he, 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 is, he is the linchpin, the linchpin of this entire thing, is what you yeah. didn't understand. Fuck. He is closer uh, to Jesus guy, than I will ever be. Cost so uh, much what's, controversy. What's the next one? Who's next? Who we uh, Jesus. Jesus. Okay, we'll do Jesus. Jesus. We're doing JC. We're doing Jesus. All right. All right, oh, well, Jesus family. Christ! We're doing this. Uh, he suffered the most and deserved it the least. I think that's that goes know. without saying. I mean, pretty much, yeah. But wait, what? But he needed to suffer. He did need to suffer. Like, but that's part of the problem. But the point is, he didn't deserve it. That's why it's payment. Yeah. That that would be a three-dimensional graph. With did they need to yeah. suffer? And unfortunately, yeah. we can't. <laughs> Account for, yeah, account for that. I, I think he if he deserve we all deserve it. If this is if the story is that we all deserve death because of our sin, and Jesus' death is payment for that, he had to not deserve it. Yeah. Yeah. And here's the thing: yeah. put put Jesus in ninety five because I believe he he suffered. But I will reserve the hundred for Buddha, who specifically said that all life is suffering, and it was nothing but suffering for that dude. Is that fair? Yeah, yeah, that's fair. And it, it really, it's splitting hairs at this point. But Buddha yeah. said everything is suffering. Jesus didn't quite Great say that. Chance they're gonna come get us. But Buddha lived a, a much more. He he yeah. lived a sheltered life, life originally. Yeah. Originally, but he yeah, did suffer awesome. greatly in his his trials and in his tribulations. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Probably many many stories are probably on par with our stories of Jesus. I'm not fully aware of them, but I would assume that's probably the case. Yeah, fasting under lotus lotus tree until you get wizened and then Maybe you get like, some uh, of it's pretty brutal. Get tempted by if I was tempted by uh, the king of the underworld. Him. Let's just do it. This like, all works. It's like right. seven how many how many dollars did did Mara have? Seven or five? Oh, I don't know. What the I forgot, but he was tempted what with Mara's daughter. Oh, no, Jesus is back. <laughs> He's returned. He's returned. Finally. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Put that boy. 95. Jesus Christ, have mercy. And now, I think Buddha probably deserved it. A little bit more than yeah, Jesus. More, How about I, that? Because he was like five, asking five, for it. Yeah. He was one of them yeah. asking for it dudes. <laughs> right? Like it was never enough for him. He wanted to push it every time. And it took him to right. the absolute, absolute was, most yeah. brutal practices just for him to realize the true path. Right. Yeah. And with the concept of reincarnation and everything going around and the, finally the Buddha and all the suffering. Sure. He can yeah. be yeah, there. Yeah, that's right, guys. hundred. Yeah. Let's do it. He was all yeah, in. Yeah. It was nothing but suffering and he was all in the entire time. So you can bump that's Jesus right. up to a hundred then. We don't have to deal with these yeah, formalities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah just just bump it up. Yeah. <laughs> Moment on courtesy, so the Christian gang gang won't come and kill us. <laughs> Abrahamic gang. Like I said, between five, we got five points there. That's splitting hairs, dog. That That's splitting hairs, yeah. dog. Right? 
God. The, well, the now we, we do Jesus. We do Jesus again. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Why do we even have Picasso here anymore? We're not I don't know. Either. We got to skip to the other Jesus. We got to we got to do current Jesus. Uh, like Van, <laughs> Van Gogh is yeah. the most. Picasso is like... I would I would put Picasso. What about in Jesus Christ, Weston Chandler? God damn it! I don't care about yeah. Picasso. <laughs> you have to be Who Picasso put Picasso like on this chart anyway? It <laughs> was a bad it? idea. It was snake bit from the beginning. I promise you. He was an artist, <laughs> so he was probably a crybaby. It was snake bit from the beat start. When he was younger, I'll explain the Picasso beat. lordy after the stream. It's not he relevant. Probably had it easier than I came. Yeah, but because no, it, this <laughs> is just fine. Yeah, yeah. It's fine when you right. We got Dirt oh, Wizard in the chat good. asking, "Who the fuck is Linkola?" I don't know. I think it's a Zelda character, but I'm not fully <laughs> figured this out yet. It, 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 it kind of is a Zelda no, character. It's kind of a what else? The Nintendo universe is from Finland. Yeah, he's a shaman. He's a All right, the family. Now we have the family. Uh, okay, okay, so we'll do we'll do Jesus Christ, uh, Jesus Christine, Weston, Chandler, Sanachu, Muhammad. Uh, yeah, we'll do Chris. That's his cool name. Yeah. Yep. Hell yeah. Uh, so Chris is someone like I said before, very much deserved it. Um, all you had to do was stop talking t on the internet. All you had to do is put down the PSI, PS, PSI toy or whatever. Stop all the downloads. Yeah, all you had to do was stop all the download and it would have been fine, dude. So he was very much <laughs> asking for it. But his suffering is also yeah. great. And he he, is all, I, I feel like everything you said about the 10K, once again, like, Chris here in spades, dude. Dude, these guys are friends. Yeah. I think I, I would put Chris's suffering uh, up towards Alex Jones. Look, man, yeah, he, he, was, he was using his disability as a crunch. I never do that. Maybe so in between like, these guys. Well, but that's that's yeah. asking for it, though. We we could. I'd say he does, uh, he's a 60 on deserved it if he did rape his mother. I would so. say as far as... Uh, it's hard to say because all of these things oh, happened right. before that. But once again, we talked about Elliot Rogers, So it's possible. I think, yeah, somewhere around Big Lenny. I was going to say a little yeah, lower than Big Lenny, yeah. but then once you, you put in the recent stuff, yeah. he's probably about Big Lenny tier, maybe yeah. even a step above. Yeah. yeah. Towards yeah. the end of the story. It gets he's he's like George W. Bush tier of deserving it. I think yeah. that actually is kind of perfect. Yeah, George Bush, yeah. He, he did, yeah. He did because... call Muslims a bunch of haters. Yeah. He also <laughs> Just like Bush. Him. Just like Bush, yeah. What's it called? The American president who looks exactly like this. Yeah, uh, that Benjamin guy was Franklin. never president, and if he was, I would shoot him. <laughs> he wasn't. He's a Freemason. Aren't all presidents Freemason? Uh, yes. Most yeah, of them. I think what was he then? Benjamin Franklin. He, he, he was absolutely Franklin. a Freemason. He was. He was. He was I, I want to say he was the founder of the Philadelphia Lodge of the Scottish Rite. But he was yeah. also in the uh, Skull and Bones Club. And that's probably yeah. why all the bodies are buried he under his house. Freaking loved science with his kite and stuff. He also was a <laughs> whoremonger <laughs> and had, had at least 20 to 16 illegitimate children. So let's, right, let's, talk, about what, uh, let's talk about Bob Phoenix. Chandler. Chris Chan's dead. Uh, guy, he seems like a decent guy, to be honest. He liked, he liked, he seemed like Hua's. He kind of liked Hua's. But that, <laughs> as far as deserving it goes, that's like normal person, normal human deserving it is like in who is. So I think his suffering was much more than that. He died in a hospital bed covered in bed bug bites. Ooh, yeah, he suffered quite a bit. Yeah. Yeah. And he, he died like the same year that Chris started fucking cross dressing. So he saw it can is we, my point. Can we blame him for how Chris turned out. I think there is some Could blame there. Job? Absolutely. Absolutely. The only... Chris him dying? What's that? What do we know about this? Yeah. Should we blame Chris for killing him? No. Not doable. No? I don't think so. No? I don't think that's that's doable in any way. I think his parents are yeah. to blame for many things. I think um, Bob's biggest problem was that he encouraged Barb to be shitty, to be a bad mother, to be coddling when it, it was when it was too much and to like you know not help him when it really mattered 
I think he was he was kind of to blame for that. There, the parents both are to blame for him not being able to get off the internet or whatever. Um, but I, I, <laughs> they were like sixty year olds when they had him or some shit. Yeah. So he was a demon child. Sort of. If that's what autistic people are, then yes. <laughs> I'll also, go with that. It's clear that he, he did not understand the internet whatsoever. Yeah, that's no. what I'm saying. Very shut up. So he did not understand what he was supposed when, to prevent. Like I always look at the the uh, the house tour fallout when he's, when he comes in, he's like, "Get that goddamn stuff off there, off that internet." And Chris is like, "I'm trying. I'm doing my best. I'm I'm working on it." And like when when Bob says go get it off the internet, he points out the door. What the <laughs> fuck is he pointing at? Do you know what I mean? It shows the the disconnect there, the level of no idea how to handle the situation here. Bob was literally pointing out the door. Go march out that house and get those images on the internet off of that internet. It's like what the fuck? <laughs> Son, go down to the library, unplug the computer. <laughs> <and they're gone. laughs> Yeah, it's the mainframe. <laughs> so I, I have some sympathy for that. Like that is retarded, yeah. but I also don't expect a sixty-year-old to know any better. Yeah. Damn. Mm. So I, to be he, honest, it was almost lucky to die so early and not see his. I think. Can, can we blame him for the state the family was living? No. Um, I. I you, there, there's probably an argument that they were both hoarders, but from everything I hear, Barb is the hoarder, and that's why the house was, it was always a hoard. Even after it burned down, they rebuilt it, and they moved him back in. They were hoarding. And it, Bob wasn't there at that point. He was dead. So I'm thinking Barb was the reason, and Bob shares some blame for not taking control or whatever. But I don't think it's much I more than your average bad, human blame, to be honest. I'm, uh, I'm thinking like bad 40. father, we put him below. We put him... Bad, I I, but he's not. He up. wasn't. If you actually yeah. look into it, he wasn't that bad of a father. He was just completely out of touch and hopeless. What, what did he do That's, for work? He What's he his, had uh life? he he was some sort of engineer. He had like a patent on something like that was commonly used. I forget what the fuck it was. Some like General Electric patent. He was actually a, a successful dude. His problem was that he seemed to like whores. His marriages fell apart. That's for damn sure. But, like, that's that's really the worst thing I can see is that he, he was not good at holding households together. But that's, like, a very, very human thing. That's not evil. That's, like, something else. You know what I mean? Like Yeah, but it can produce evil. There's a slight percentage it can produce evil. I don't see how Bob produced the evil in Chris yeah, at all. I know the story very well. I know Bob had a whole workshop in the yard that he, he built so that they could work on projects together and he could encourage the things and Chris never had any interest in it. I, I don't really know. It seems like Bob encouraged him. He always... There's, like, letters that Bob left him that like are online they're all very him. very nice and positive and encouraging the worst the worst i've ever seen bob like treat chris was like shaking his head when chris bought him like an anime toy for like christmas chris was like filming it and like that was the worst i've ever seen him like i don't know i he was always he always tried to encourage him in the only ways he knew how and they were good ways it's just that there was a disconnect between generations hmm. i think he suffered a it little sounds more like we're going to get to Barb. We haven't even gotten to Barb yet. And that'll make sense of some of the things I'm saying now. But I'm putting it at all at 60. I don't think he deserves it like more than like... Like Ethan Ralph. I'm not trying to shit on Ethan Ralph, but he has like an internet figure. He's put himself out there to be ridiculed. Bob hasn't even done that. Yeah. He did not even understand. I I think the most you can give him is like a 45 and deserving it. I think having like a disabled child... And like not not realize like, like he, he 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 was like a normal dude with like a, like a learning disabled child, and then that child became like a, the ultimate lolcat. Okay, I think that's like you a, can a definitely history. blame the internet for for what happened to Chris. So I, I just don't know how you would expect those parents to to monitor his internet behavior. I have no idea. I wouldn't even know how to. I don't fucking. Know. I think it should be about hair. Like, yeah, that right there is perfect. I I think that's about right. Mm-hmm. I, you know, Bob, I would say he suffered crippling. more. He suffered more yeah. because because he did die in a bed yeah. full of like covered in bed bug sores with Chris Chan cross dressing. 
that was probably a blessing in disguise because imagine if he had lived longer he, he was in the bed him. all right all right you sold me on it then but if he had if he had seen if you yeah, <laughs> it, you know, those bed true. bugs saw some shit in the years that followed <laughs> bed bugs. don't let the bed bugs see this one uh, now we're on bar right. now we're on bam now barb i think is is the one who has truly deserved it and I, I don't people? say that lightly. Yeah. Even when we're talking about the most recent events of Chris Chan. She, oh man, they, they can't call it rape for a reason. It's because she won't help them pursue them because it was probably consensual. And this stems back to after Bob died, Barb would have Chris spoon with her in their bed. That is deserving mm -hmm. it big time. We talk about the hoarding. Bob seemed to like hooahs. Barb was a big time hooah. <laughs> now, what's worse, the guy who falls for the hooah or the the total hooah? There's a reason that <laughs> that her son, her Chris Chan's half brother, hates her. Hates her. She he's we we went over some of this recently. He said that they she was neglectful, abusive. That her and her her like the his stepdad would go through these weird fantasies involving him. That they would play out basically gaslighting him as a child. Oh yeah, like a torture chamber thing. Yeah, I, she I was that, doing yeah. the same shit to Bob. When when That's Chris funny. was gonna would do something that she didn't like, that she really disapproved of, and she was like afraid for her little baby autistic boy. She would fucking threaten to kill herself. So you don't think she ever pulled that at any other times in her life? She probably been pulling that her whole fucking life because she's a psycho. One time, yeah. one time she made spaghetti and meatballs. Not a big deal, dude. I, I've made this shit. It takes no time at all. It's easy, dude. Yeah. But Bob and Chris wanted to go out <clears throat> together and get Burger King because it was something they both liked and they were bonded. They bonded over Burger King. Whatever. The old man, the autistic kid. It's fine. It makes sense. <laughs> Well, from that day forward, because they went to Burger King instead of eating her spaghetti and meatballs, she never cooked again. <laughs> that Holy is shit. fucking psychotic. Dog, if I make some spaghetti and meatballs, that shit will be in the fridge tomorrow. Get to it when you need to. You know? Yeah. Do we know anything about her earlier life? Um, when she was younger. Some. We can pull up the wiki. I don't think it's the time or the place to be pulling up the, the no, Barbara Chandler wiki. Please. But it does, she did have, uh, she had previous husbands, obviously. I don't know. Any of them die mysteriously. No, one of them was a Freemason in the Invisible Lodge. Oh, there oh, yeah. we go. There's the yep. connection. <laughs> yep. Went over that in a previous <laughs> episode, <laughs> last Christian episode. Go find it. I don't know what to say. Of course. Jeez. I think right, he Barb's. had uh, at an 85 on deserved it. Put, put her 95. 90, yeah, 90, 95. 90. I think she has to be one above Chris. She, uh, yeah. Because yeah, Chris is deserving it. While it was very, very much there, there's an innocence to it. With her, there is not. Yep, yep 95. Above Chris. I think her and Ellen Roger would have made a great couple. And I, considering the fact that we we seem to think that what happened between them was consensual, now I would say her deserve or is her suffering is like ah forty maybe thirty five. So she's she's she was fully aware. She's not like dementia. Really. She's old as shit, and she's probably losing it a little bit. But like I said, she's been encouraging the same behavior. For years. Forever. Sorry. Yeah. He, she she faked being senile for the camera. It's possible. People have said that. I don't really buy that. I think she's probably a little demented. But, like, I do think she, before she was fucking... She had dementia or whatever. I think she was already encouraging this shit blatantly. Huh. Do you yeah, think she think suffered she more than Ethan Ralph? I think Chris did. I don't think she did. No, she didn't. How much did she deserve it? Though? I think she deserved like a 95 full on deserving. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think she's a step More above. Chris Chris I think she's one step above Christian. Like I said, Christian's yep. deserving. It has an innocence to it. Hers does not. Yep. Yep. I agree. And it resulted yeah, in all of this shit. Yep. I was big foot not suffering that. Not suffering. 
How is he suffering? He's suffering a little. I'm not saying he isn't suffering. He's suffering more than we are. Well, he has to constantly be on the run. That's that's deserving it. It's yep. he could just not do that. He could just say, "Here I am, I'm Bigfoot." Instead, what he does is <laughs> run faster, and you know what that does? That triggers me to shoot. Yeah, but he, I mean, this guy's a murderer. The, the entirety of the human race is chasing after him. Um, I think Barb. Once Barb invited Chris into her bed to replace her dead husband, I think it put her right up there with like serial killers. Yeah, yeah put her funny. next to Elliot Roger. Yep. Power couple. Yep. There we go. Power that's couple. that's great. Power couple. Yeah. Ah, new couples are being formed here. Exciting. Yeah. Is that it? That's everything? That's everyone. That's who, it. This is our so, suffering short. So who suffered the most and deserved it the most? We got the Buddha over there. Other than the Buddha, we got Christian. Yeah. yeah. We got Jesus, who, who yeah. didn't deserve it and suffered all of it. And who we got at, yeah. at the bottom? Who who didn't suffer and didn't deserve it? Picasso. Uh, Picasso <laughs> Can't is stand that fucking guy. <laughs> Other, because, besides Picasso, we got regular man. You and I. The cavemen, as it were. Yep. Yeah. Who deserved it most and suffered the least? <laughs> Mark Zuckerberg. Most, suffered the least. We've done it. Um, Welcome yeah, to the stream, Vangus. Uh, I've been here, dog. They deserve oh. to suffer more. He's here. <laughs> I've been here. Pegasus I've been here. We, uh, Pegasus is I've here. I've been here since we've been talking about Barb. And, oh, well. Uh, the other guy. All right. Well, that's amazing content. We've done another chart. We've made a chart for you. And there it is. Oh, yeah. Is that the I end of the chart? It. We don't have anything else to say about it? Just look at Big Lenny's fucking amazing physique. For this time, but there is more room here, as you can see. His liver more to, to come. Cell more to if come. One pops up. Maybe we could do just one guy. Like Maybe. Oh, That's put true. Napoleon put Napoleon no, in we're not doing Napoleon. No, we're, no. Napoleon. we're only doing that because of I mean, TikTok and it. Start Get fucking. You're going to start telling yeah. me about some gun that Napoleon yeah. invented. I don't want yeah. to hear about it. Is, is no, the this guy is still Big Lena. Do what what I did he suffer for? Hold up. What? One at a time. Do Big Lena. what I posted in Bar and Grill. Do what I posted what in Bar and Grill. What did you post? You're not helping me. You're not making this easy for me. In the bar and grill. Do oh, put yeah, it on the chart. Phone oh, that's you. That's not my chart. God damn it. God I'm damn it. The short thing today. I shorted. Right. Oh, that guy. He's cool. Okay, right. uh, let's see. How about. Uh... We're not just adding random shit to it. That was the chart for this week. All we right, did it's done. We did it. We won. It's we over. Did it. uh, it's finally we finished. We won. All right. Let's, uh, let's go on to. Alb spooky video? How about that? It's so over. It's so over. Paranormal event in Sweden? Let's take a fucking... Oh, I'm not sharing it with you guys, am I? Let's uh, fix that real quick. How do I do this? Why did they make this harder? I Alright, let me All right, just say. I believe this is a real ghost. A famous <laughs> ghost that appeared in a forest in Sweden. Official ghost video live from Switzerland. Gives me shit. <laughs> down my spine. Isn't there like a folk creature? Oh, that I've down? never seen it. Oh, oh, oh. oh shit, Mikey Jackson! Shavlar, han moonwalker ut i skogen. Shit! What the fuck? I mean, it must be Michael Jackson's ghost. All right. Well, <laughs> first of all, it's not Michael Jackson. It's Michael Jackson. And other than that, yeah. he is definitely Michael Jackson. <laughs> Who else could moonwalk like that? I don't think anybody else can moonwalk except Michael Jackson. As far as I can tell. I miss that guy every single day. He didn't do anything. It's all good. Did he suffer? He suffered yeah. a lot. Plenty. And yeah. he didn't deserve Plenty. it. <laughs> Yeah. Or I forget. We don't soul. have to discuss suffering anymore. We're free of suffering. We're free. Finally. We're free to talk about the most suffering. boring topic, dreams. Here we go, boys. Mm -hmm. Now I know you can't really read this too well. I'm gonna I posted it, it's in the bar and grill. If you scroll up, you can find this and you can go over it with me, but I do think there's relevance here that I want to go over. So I'll read the uh the the intro to this stupid infographic. The most common dream in every country. We are all human, but that doesn't mean we all dream the same thing when we hit the hay. 
We wanted to find out the most common dream in every country, so we used RFs, RF, I don't know what that is, to analyze Google search volumes for different dream types. The most Google dream in the world is about snakes. 52 countries uh, Google this dream more than any other. To see a snake or be bitten by one in your dream can signify hidden worries, according to dream theorists. The next most Googled is the dreaded teeth falling out dream. 17 countries, which might imply a lack of self-confidence. So when we look at this map, we see that in all the places that we're from, all the, the Western countries, essentially, teeth falling out is the main fear. Whereas we see what is... The, seemingly when you first look at this you're like what is my country and you look at all the other all the pink on here and you're like oh teeth falling out it's the main fear but that's not the the biggest one the biggest dream is snakes that's like the worry in their minds that's creating these dreams there's a dichotomy there there's a dichotomy of like uh real real lived life and like manufactured corporate media bullshit right Teeth falling out, like, why aren't the people in the snake countries worried about teeth falling out? Why aren't they dreaming about their teeth falling out? Because their teeth already fell out. They didn't give a shit about that. That was normal life. You know what else is normal-ass <laughs> life? Snakes. But why are Western countries so worried about teeth falling out? I think it's because of me media brainwashing. If you look at Western media, everybody has perfect teeth. It is a sign of affluence, of, of social status, of everything. Of, of beauty, of everything. So there is the difference between like real practical problems in snake countries versus the dumbasses and teeth falling out countries. The teeths versus the snakes. Snake versus teeth, a war for the ages. Do you have any input on this? Come on now, guys. Yeah, come on. So the, it's it's funny because the the serpent in a lot of these cultures is the guardian of of wisdom, of of promises yet to be fulfilled. Uh, so there is there is a kind of kind of a uh, of mystery behind it. Whether this is just their worry or or well, their I I their desire for I agree. But I think in right, the context or, of this chart, if you look at the other things that we're seeing, pregnancy. There's ex relationships, marriage, sex, death, eating in Botswana, shoes in Ethiopia. Almost all of this seems to reflect the the Their subconscious want? worries of a, of yeah. the countries. So I'm not saying these are actually the most common dreams. That's not really the point I'm making, but I do think there is something to be seen There's here. Symbolism behind them. So I, mean, I live I, in the woods. I am willing to accept behind. snake as like a primordial programming that's in all of our brains. It's universally threatening. It's it's universally a thing to look out for. Maybe more than any other pre predator. Not only are they lying in wait, ready to kill you with one bite, but it's like you got to look out for your little baby with this thing. And like you won't even know it happened until it's too late. You won't hear a roar. There won't be a ruckus. You know. So like that's a really scary creature. It's a uh, a lot of these things I see here are. Uh... Like a shamanism is like dream interpretation, yeah. And a lot of these things you see here all symbolize different things. Like you say, snake. Like yeah, that's that is a primordial fear. But you know, like these dreams that with the snake are really scary. But like the, the they all are just like muting like, each other and like walking away and then coming back and just repeating each other. Are right? you? <laughs> what the fuck? All right. Say, so, I'm assuming Maud just said all this, but go ahead. Oh well, I, I was about to say like the the, the snake is, is also scary, but like it, it's also like a tool for wisdom. Yeah, Maud well, just said it, all like, this. We just did all this. It's fine. Uh, We're good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we did exactly this. Yes, I know this. But my point is, and you weren't listening apparently. So the context of this no, this infographic it. is that if you look at all of these countries, like for example, I think I think there is like a sim some kind of hierarchy almost happening here. In like relationship to tradition and the earth. I think like most of the basics seems to be snake to me. Then you get the things that are like cutting hair in marriage, which you see around. Like in Libya is cutting hair, marriage in Congo. These are things that are very, very traditional, but they're becoming more more tied up in, in social settings. It doesn't mean like bad or good or anything, but I think like these are something that are like your your value as a suitor. 
that's that's something that's like climbing from snake to something that's more of like social worries. Then you have oh, that, that, climbing that snake. Then the next one is teeth falling out, which is the most fucking consumerist, materialistic bullshit thing possible. So, but like between yeah, that, you have, that, because it is the only reason people would be worried about having bad teeth is because of Western media. I'm explaining things I already what? explained. Where but else is there perfect do, uh, teeth? But you could do there, another. In, there, in there is perfect teeth, right teeth nowhere, but in Western. Notice how all of the, these countries that are worried about teeth falling out are fucking flooded with Western media. Every it, single one. Also, the, the, a lot of these dreams are like archetypes that go way, way back. The, like, but this is not the conversation thing, we're having, it? though. We're talking about I, I what know. are actually the most Googled fucking dreams that people have oh, in the oh. country. Well, you guys know that the, the teeth falling out is because they don't have control over their lives. That is the literally a product of this fucking consumeristic, materialistic yeah. country yeah, that's true. driven by it's media. Kind of... That they think that it's literally the media that's telling them that they aren't good enough. The most basic way to see that is that your smile isn't good enough because everyone in media has perfect teeth. And what well, you do guys you use your like... teeth for? To consume things, consume products. Yeah. That's true. That's actually very true. You know that uh, even though snakes, that. even though snakes are like kind of you know scary and all that. Oh and my a lot god! Of don't cultures, say the fucking same thing. Wisdom. Don't do it. Oh my god! <laughs> I was doing a bit. Damn it! I was doing a bit. Oh god! god. Oh. I don't care anymore about wisdom and archetypes. I think there's a clear pattern here, uh, and I'm, I'm talking more about like culture here. I think the most telling almost is when you look at like Niger. Where it's death. Death is the dream. Whereas Nigeria, right across the border, sex is is the the, the dream that they're having. Now, I, I think you could look at that and you can be like, that is like, you know, that's the archetype. That's this and that. That's so, like, traditional. And it's the earth. And it's the... But the fact of the matter is, these are places that are specifically day-to-day -day worried about their family and their population and their village. Day-to-day. -day. I think these also, are signs of, of worry about your population, about the size or the, the existence of your population. Nigeria also has one of the fastest growing populations in the world. So That's what I'm saying. I think makes, there, there is a very... I would think about sex. But they're, they're, they're going through, you know, and that, I think that's something that happens in places like that where they're completely war-torn is that everything goes to shit and then there's a baby boom. That's the cycle, but then they, you know, they know they're trapped in like a, a fucking death zone, essentially. Yeah. Then we have Greece. They're playing a different game altogether. Yeah, we got Greece over here who's dreaming about hat. Just hat. Uh, hat. The, the, Greeks like, the Greeks like their luxurious hats. Now, well, couldn't couldn't that also be like the Hat Man, and it's just like interpreted wrong? Like, doesn't isn't the Hat Man like a common thing? Yeah, he but he does like he shows up to people that abuse Benadryl. <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's the entire, the entire population of Greece. Greece. It's it's on <laughs> and when they asked them, all they could say was, "What did you dream about?" And they were like, "Benadryl." Fucking hat, bro. Yeah, so I was seeing hat, dog. Why'd you wake me? I was seeing hat again. Oh, can I yeah. go back to hat? We got some of these places yeah. where it's the sea, which the sea, I get that. Um, as far as the like. As far as the imagery, if you're in a place that's by the coast, like I can see the sea being always in your dreams. Um, one Mexico that, that was... being Mexico being the border between civilization and barbarism. That's right, exactly, <laughs> exactly. That they, illustrates it so well, to be honest. Like oh, the yes, X relationship, it... it's it is it is like a materialistic bend on like a traditional thing, essentially. And right. that checks out perfectly because France has the same. Yeah. Yep. 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 I think uh I think um Namibia might be the best place in the world to live because they dream about squirrels. And if your worry is about squirrels, you probably got everything good, dude. Everything's cool. <laughs> right? Maybe they're not even worried at all, just dreaming sweet dreams about squirrels. What if they're that's like why I I, that's why I'm not doing like the, the dream destiny archetype crap because like when I look at these, it is specifically like there's there's a few exceptions, but almost all of these seem to be like pretty practical things in their countries. Like Japan worrying about ex relationships, like that makes perfect sense with their their imbalance of males and females. Yes. 
Like, so yeah. much of this stiff stuff seems so practical. Ethiopia dreaming about shoes. Like, oh, God, if only I had shoes. <laughs> <laughs> it makes perfect sense. Botswana, they're just worried about their next meal. Eating is all it says. But, but then we have uh, Slovenia and South Africa. They have money. Yeah, money. it's an interesting money. one. South Africa, that's... Yeah, because South Africa's communist. Well, there you go. <laughs> Slovenia sense. is not. What is this place like, like the, Benin? The is, that place? is that what that says? Benin? They're worried about yeah, stairs. Yeah. Is it a whole country full of cripples? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm, I'm actually Mott. Benin. <laughs> Mott, how often do you dream about stairs? Um, why not? <laughs> you find yourself on, on the middle of an endless staircase, and you're like, "How do I get?" It's like my dream because I was talking about this earlier. Like, I I don't have the teeth falling out dream. My teeth actually fall out, and then I dream about snakes. I got it the right way, the normal way. Modern, but uh, my life. my my Western dream is that I'm in school. I'm in like high school, and like I don't know what the fuck class I'm supposed to be going to. That's like my normal Western dream. Oh, have you ever had the one where you're like in a weird high school you don't know and you're like lost yes. and then like you're you're missing that's the one i was talking about earlier yeah and you're missing yeah, where it's like it, it's a familiar <laughs> high school it's like your high yeah. school but it's not your high school yeah and then like you're like well, where am i supposed to go and like you're so confused my my issue is always that i don't i don't know my schedule i have no idea what my fucking schedule is and i don't know how to figure it out and it's yeah you know it's not that it's supposed to do something the thing like is, when I when I was in school, yeah. I would forget my schedule all the time, and I just wouldn't bring my shit to class, and like that was all like normal <laughs> behavior for me, honestly. <laughs> so it's not that weird in a dream. My other my other standard Western dream is like I'm driving on a freeway, and I have to like merge and find exits and shit. That's a problem <laughs> for me. That one sucks. I hate that shit. I have I one that probably just that. relates to to me being in the woods, but. I always have a dream of like something's attacking me, whether it's like an intruder or a monster or something. You just want to uh, use your gun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, I'm yeah, into that. Well, you the gun, of gun. Like, doesn't work. It like the trigger weighs like a million pounds. I think can't pull it. Polak's house should be on this map, and it should just say gun. <laughs> <laughs> No, that's a common one though. It's like scary. It's like an animal's attacking you, and your gun doesn't work, and then like you get fucked up. And See, I have out. when I have like animals attacking me dreams. Sometimes, first of all, they're not animals; they're cryptids. And second of all, this isn't a gun. Yeah, this yeah, is a fucking point. giant greatsword. It's a comedically large greatsword. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! I'm surprised okay. actually by this short that there is no falling. Yeah, that's I, true. I have a lot of falling dreams. I I do too. Yeah. yeah. But like mines are purposeful. Like I throw myself from the roof of a skyscraper. Yeah, if if I'm falling, it's usually it's usually my own doing. I'm like fuck this place. Here, I've had a lot of dreams. Yeah, that like dying, coming back to life, turning into a plant, my, seeing some ancestor face. My falling like, dreams I, I are I I I consciously am just able to launch myself into sky into the sky. I'm like in the woods, I launch myself into the sky, and then as I'm falling, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have done that. And I'm falling into the canopy of trees below. That's my falling dream. I, right. I had pretty what, much one the dream same thing. thing. One dream that's come back to me. I flung out over a jungle. Fought, fought what all of a sudden. What, one dream that's come back to me a few times is uh, I get into a car wreck, like a horrific car wreck, and I'm like projectiled through the fucking windshield. And I pull out a gun from my pocket and shoot myself in the fucking head, and I wake up immediately. Like Ooh. I don't. I've had that like four times. Same car every time. Different gun at least twice. A, a reoccurring motif for me is spiders. There's always a spider or spider-like mm -hmm. symbol somewhere in the dream. Are you trapped no. within? A I swear, spiders was on that. Show. Yes, I am oh. actually. <laughs> Lamont, you know that spiders oh, snap, spiders dude. might be like That's evil. Crazy how dreams work. Uh, yeah, like spiders I, I might seem evil. But... Spiders is Argentina. Yeah, spiders. Well, I'll be damned. But actually, spiders spiders represent wisdom in a lot of cultures. <laughs> <laughs> sure. uh, so spiders also like represent control and uh, overbearing women. Yeah. I feel like we should mention how dreams work. Like there is a certain you know, huh? logic to them. 
like dream logic. It doesn't make sense, but you definitely know that you have to go to this place and do something weird. Well, that's why I like in, the, the, in the dream. It makes sense. Reason. You're so immersed in that, and then when you wake up, you're like, "What the fuck was I doing there?" That's why the tricks for lucid dreaming are like check your watch, and like like just to look for like because there's shit in dreams that'll be wonky. It'll be Yo, weird. Try to punch logic. people in the face because if if it's try a dream, you won't yourself. be able to punch them. Punch other people. When I when I was a kid, if I was having a bad dream, I used to start punching myself in the face in the dream, and I'd wake up hitting myself in the fucking face. So this this is kind of like the beginning of a map of the unconscious, but the unconscious is you could say that impossible. it's not nearly yeah it doesn't deserve that accolade at all. But you could start well, to the, put it together. First steps toward it, but you could never do it because the unconscious is, is always producing itself. Like it's not exactly not ever fully formed. It's always changing. It is so dynamic. It's never really. It's like an unmappable territory. Yeah. Yep. The real human conflict is snake versus teeth. Snake versus teeth, baby. Kind of snake versus. Teeth. No. Oh, I, I, what, just, one thing no, that's well, interesting is like when I'm tripping dick. Fucking snake and teeth are definitely two of my my biggest ones. I always have dancing snake lady. Snakes dancing in my vision is usually a woman incorporated somehow. But then teeth are also <laughs> another thing. It's not my teeth falling out. It's that I see teeth and everything. I see teeth and eyes in almost everything I look at. I assume that was some sort of primal instinct, like looking for predators or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, especially when you're all fucking geeked out, bro. Yeah, and you yeah. think everything fucking bro. like you're you're true primal when you're on fucking like four tabs, bro. Exactly. You are full human. That is the most human you will ever be. Exactly. If you're gonna dream about teeth, I don't know. Make sure they're threatening. It's... Whoa! Just spotted an interesting one. Sorry. Kyrgyzstan has fish, but they are <laughs> landlocked. That they is don't even have bizarre. We're well, they might have freshwater fish. They, have they, miss, they miss their fish. Nah, dude. That's like people dude. in Ohio, though, dreaming about fish. Like, we have the, we have the Great Lakes somewhere around here. The Great... Yeah. Yeah, that uh, fish... I do, see what you're, I, I do see what you're saying. Like, it, it's, like, very uh, regional, especially yeah. with, like, the Western countries. And I'm not trying because to take like, the... I'm not trying to take the, the stand that, like, this is all legitimate, these are real, but I do think there is a specific interest in all of these things coming with, from subconscious. With, with you, you would say, like, living in the West, like, uh, with, with this whole consumer culture that we have, that there is like a sense of hopelessness that you don't have control. Over I, I think life. your status in society is seen as life or death. And there's like real life or death happening all the while that you're fucking around with this like bullshit. It's all worrying about your teeth. Like I said, these snake countries, they don't worry about their teeth. Them shits fell out long ago. Well, and their societies I'm, are fine. I'm a little, so who I'm a little curious here. Dream? Who, who here has had that dream of teeth falling out? I I've never had, had that. I, I have I've, like, like, I've heard of it. I've heard a lot of people never. say it. That's why I, I tend well, to think that it's it's people who are, are more materialistic. Like we're here because that's not how we see ourselves. Well, I, but I have I heard it many really, times. I would really, really something... say like materialistic, but like that materialism is a byproduct of these emotions that are happening to these people that are causing them to have these dreams, like the. I, I, I will stand out. by the only place that everyone's teeth are perfect is in Western media. You will see that nowhere else on earth except for no, Western no, media. Okay. You could I'm, interpret that teeth oh dream God, in a different way, though. Like no, when you that, get older, you saying, lose your like... first pair of teeth, the milk teeth. Well, to be and fair, you get the, a new pair of teeth and they, they grow and you get older. So it could be about fear of uh, death or. Like, um, I guess, but I, I think we would. The thing is, we see, we don't see. It's not that snake. The snake dreams aren't confined to places that you think of having snakes. They're everywhere. We don't think of Russia as being full of snakes. I'm just, I don't know what the fuck is there. There's snakes in New Jersey. There's probably snakes in Russia. But the point is, these aren't people. A lot of these aren't people who are accustomed to like having to be terrified of snakes. Right. Oh, now, no. So you would think that that, oh, that same thought would be able to carry over into these other other Western countries, but it's all these countries who have accepted Western media that are afraid of losing their goddamn teeth. 
I, it, yep. The thing is, is like when they're losing their teeth, the pattern in these dreams is that like they're either sitting down or something or like they're in the bathroom and their teeth will fall out. Now they, they, they feel frantic and powerless in, in that moment that their teeth are falling out. And the, that, that is the feeling of helplessness and hopelessness over the lack of I'm power with you. you have over your life. But I think this uh, is a concern that's like specifically like Western and like modern. That's because Westerners don't have that. They, Mass they, they, media have, they have a fear. They have a fear of not having true control over their lives. Like, uh, look, I, I just complained about wage slaving a lot earlier today. I'm with you. But, I, I think, but I think the, the the high school dream where you don't know your schedule is very similar to this. Just it's like slightly less gay. <laughs> slightly less gay. Yeah. Well, the, it's full of all the modern trappings, but it's not like I don't look good. So there's a there's a teeth falling out country that kind of has me a little baffled here. If you look in the Middle East, I get the UAE being a teeth falling out country because they're like the degenerate Middle East country. Yeah. yeah. So why the fuck is Tajikistan having the teeth falling out? I thing? don't know anything the, about that fucking country. I couldn't tell you, but it might be Western bullshit that's, actually. Well, it's literally in between Afghanistan and fucking uh, uh what is it? Kyrgyzstan. So, like, sounds like a great place to put a military US base. Boxes. I have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> that might be it. That's crazy. That guy kind of pokes a hole in the theory. Yeah, I don't I think don't... it does. I think there's more of this little country that we don't know about. I've never <laughs> there's heard a lot about that like. country that I don't know about. I literally only know its Tajik... name. I don't know anything Tajikistan? about it. I've never heard that Tajikistan? in my life. I don't think that's real. It's a thing. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Couldn't tell you a thing one. Nobody knows. Doesn't matter. It's it's the only double landlocked country, I think. <laughs> Get fucked! <laughs> all of the nations. There's, that's there's one with that's peacock. There's one peacock is good. Fiji. Fiji likes peacock. Now, peacock, that's not something you're afraid of. Like, you like peacock. But here's here's the other thing. If we're going to go the archetype route, the fucking gods route, the fucking symbolism route, the people in uh, in Kurdistan, what's that? What's the religion called? Someone help me out here. I'm slipping my mind right now. Kyrgyzstan. Kurdistan. They're Muslims. Yeah. They're Muslims. They're red sky. But the what is the, the weird indigenous religion that they have? Tangriism? No, god damn it. You guys are oh, so killing Zoroastrianism. No! I know oh, what you're talking about. I forgot what it was. Sufism? No, no. Uh, that's mine. Maybe it's not. I, I hope it, it is the Kurds. I was pretty sure it was the Kurds. Well, <laughs> demographics. Yeah, Where do like, I get the... the Kurds are like what the Kurds. fuck is this religion called? Religion. Dude. LARPing. <laughs> LARPers. Are you thinking of Yazidism? Yazidi. Yazidism. Yaz, yaz, oh, Yazid. those guys. Yeah, yeah. The Yazidis. The, circle. the Yazidis love peacocks. The peacock is their symbol of God. But if <laughs> you look at their mythology, God. their their God is the light bringer. What, what many Abrahamic religions around them look at as Lucifer, as, as the devil. They think they're devil worshippers, worshipping the wrong side of the pantheon. And that's why they get um, they they get uh, obliterated essentially when the Muslims show up. But um, we see this peacock motif also has has like this religious significance that we see in Yazidism. We see it in Hinduism. It's associated with Krishna. The Yazidis <laughs> probably being something along the lines of Zoroastrianism in the in the fact that it was people who came down from the Indian region bringing these ideas, possibly. Yeah. Um, but the peacock does have more of that significance. I can't imagine what the purpose of having it in your dreams all the time is. Why buy, why even dream? <laughs> I want to dream about scary peacock. things. I want to be I want to be peacock. naked at school. I actually peacock have a very strong memory. Decisions. Childhood memory involving a peacock. When I was at the zoo and my dad was there. Eggs. Me too. And he was like uh, we were looking at the peacock and then it flew away. And then he just said now it's flown away, never to return here again. 
<laughs> I was like, it was so sad. It was such a beautiful bird, and it's never coming back. I, I too have a bleak on memory. It? How could it just be loose? I was at a, on a class I trip. I was, in a, I was on a fucking class trip to the Philadelphia Zoo as a, but a child boy. And we got McDonald's there. They had a McDonald's at the zoo. We all got burgers. And I, I was I opened up my burger, and I was eating it. And a peacock came and shat on the fucking the paper that I unwrapped with the burger and just shat on it while I was eating it. That's awesome. A piece of shit demon yeah, devil bird. Satan himself. No, those things are assholes. They'll fuck maybe up your car and you're not allowed to do anything I about it. I am afraid of them the more I think about it. Yakov, yeah, maybe it was the same bird. We've got we peacocks saw in that sandhill bird. frame. Yeah. And both of those motherfuckers will fuck your car up, and like you're not allowed I've to. I've never heard of a sandhill things. crane fucking a car up. I've I, I live around many sandhill cranes. I've never even heard of such a thing. <laughs> they peck, they I believe a peacock will. Peacocks just fuck around. They're on all sorts of shit. But sandhill cranes. The, 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 peacocks, them, though. the peacocks jump on top of the fucking. Yeah, they'll just the fuck it up. They don't give a shit, up. dude. They'll peck and, it. They'll scratch the it. The sandhill cranes. You, I mean, I can go out to my office in Sandhill Crane season. I don't know what months those are, but I know when it happens because there'll be you'll hear like a a pop, 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 and you look over and there's a fucking Sandhill Crane just fucking banging his goddamn <laughs> head into an F one fifty, and you're like, holy shit, dude! I know Sandhill and, Cranes and are well known in my area of Jersey. They're they're, they're they have been the culprit in many Jersey Devil sightings. Assholes. They say, yeah, that's why that's one of the things they have like this fucking nasty fucking scream. Um, but I have never heard of them fucking up a car. That sounds funny as shit. Yeah, I've Hell seen it yeah. multiple times, mostly on F one fifties. I don't know if they have a thing against F one fifties, but it doesn't. Yeah. Get an F two fifty already, you pussy. But you're not allowed to choke them. You're not allowed to kill these birds here in Florida. You, 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 you can't kill like peacocks. An African no. Actually, you are allowed to kill peacocks here. That's right. You can't kill the, the sandhill cranes. You can kill all the peacocks you want and eat them like a fucking turkey. Please don't. As I'm gonna right, go over, we got a, we got a homie in the chat. Something I never expected, so I just want to make sure oh. I'm acknowledging here. Dirt Wizard in the chat says, "I feel like Bob deserved it in a way. Didn't he cheat on his first wife with Barb or something? That's possible, and that was the main thing that he deserves is that he wasn't a good homemaker. Um, no. But I do think that's a very human thing. I I don't know how how evil is that really? You know, did she know so, your wife? And the- I got I, I'm i with you, but it's still very human. It's oh. I don't know. I, I mean, was he cursed with Christian for his, uh, for his permission? That's, that's fine, but at the same time, like he didn't suffer all that much from it in his life. I mean, he didn't suffer, that really. Was a good life. He's fine. So uh, Dirt Wizard says, So he got what he wanted. He made a wish with the devil. And Chris is a perfect manifestation of his life choice. And I, I agree with that. I think Chris is his suffering. Yeah. But at the end of the day, Bob didn't really have to suffer that much from Chris. There was plenty. He was like, it was normal he human did. issues again. He was dealing with a retarded kid. He didn't have to <laughs> suffer in this life. And he says, I wouldn't call him evil, but it was a very tricky display of karma. Which, that's true. But I think it all kind of balances out with Bob. I get it. It's all fine. It's fine. Right, so we don't need to adjust the short. It's you fine. put respect on Robert Chan's name. I will not. Robert Chu. I won't. All right, so... so you like, like, what they're not telling you is uh, Robert was their version of Hank Hill, and uh, Bobby was... Uh, I don't think he was nearly that competent. <laughs> he was, but he Hank was twice Hank the Hank age. Hill, would Hank Hill be a better homemaker than... Uh, than I mean, Bobby yes... Or? Hank Hill yeah. rules. <laughs> it's, Hank Hill's it's canon, man. Hank Hill is highly honest. Like, my favorite quote is when, when fucking Peggy is fucking feeling manly because she found out that, like, a tranny, like, uh, I'm not, oh, man, I'm sorry, that a trans individual uh, <laughs> idolized her or whatever. Um, yeah. And she's, like, she's talking to Hank, and he's he's, like, well, what do you mean, Peggy? You're a wife and a mother. How can you get more womanly than that? You're a very <laughs> handsome like, woman, Peggy. <laughs> <laughs> I like, I like big feet. <laughs> I like big feet, and I cannot lie. I dude's been shelling out like double prices on women's shoes for like thirty years. He's a real one. <laughs> Dog, I'm going to the big and tall store with my woman, dog. 
<laughs> Remember that like that episode where she almost murdered Randy Travis because he was stealing like yes. music from him? Yeah. <laughs> That's just the god like, the way God made me. Yeah, it's just the way God now that we're on the King, King of the Hill podcast, I'm going to fucking play us out, though, because we've been going, we've fucking nailed this fucking thing. We've killed this <laughs> episode. We beat it with a fight. It's too the late. Hill. I already have Deep Purple planned because I didn't want to think of anything else, and I love this fucking jam, so let's fucking kick it, dude. All right, let's listen to some Deep Purple. Right? It's, it's not playing. Good. Oh, it's good. Oh, it's playing <laughs> now. I'll get it to play. Yeah, yeah we all solve the all of the most important issues. Tonight. We did. We figured out who was evil, who was suffered, who didn't deserve to suffer, and who was less evil. And now we know, for the betterment of mankind, that Senor suffered about as much as Ethan Ralph. Yeah. Was I on the list? No, you could be That's though. Awesome. If you were on the list, I'd put you really close to Ethan Ralph. That's fucked. <laughs> Come on. You guys actually you have a lot of comments. The only the, 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 yeah, no, the difference is you didn't ask for it quite as hard. Because it's true. He's he's the host of his show. You just pop up on here once in a while. So that's like half as much asking for it. But the suffering? Yeah. Oh the suffering, brother. Oh the suffering. <laughs> look at these eyes. Look at me watching. Look at these eyes. Look at the suffering Don't, eyes, dude. Watch Don't them suffer. It, Watch them suffer in real time Don't for you. It. They Don't will do suffer. it. Whatever it is you're thinking about doing, don't fucking do it. It's not gonna end up well. The it's only thing I have to say is Cloaca about all this. Cloaca. Damn. Cloaca. Uh oh. Oh man, I can't shove right. too hard. Pull full fucking King Cobes and barf everywhere, dude. All yeah. right, now if I will only the, the day Bob Barker dies again, I will barf on stream. Now check it out. It doesn't Everybody happen on the uh, Patreon, often, though. Everybody comes on to the Patreon. We'll we'll play. How far can we shoot ice cubes out of my butt? Yeah, but only for the patrons. Yeah, patrons only. Oh, we gotta get our ad revenue back. Yeah, I <laughs> gotta get my monetization back. And it turns out the only thing that can get me money now is having sex on video for you. That's true. That's the only way. There's only a couple sites to do it on here. One of them being fucking, uh, uh, fucking, ah, oh, man, what is, I fucking killed it. God damn it. What's that one they're gambling on? You know, the kick, kick, that fucking stupid ass <laughs> shit where they be gambling. They be giving motherfuckers half a billion dollar contracts to gamble and fucking show other people's content. That's true. That's true. With that, we will catch you later. <laughs> we'll we catch you later, people. Thank you for joining me, Dirt Wizard, and everyone else who is out there. God fucking bless.